With millions of songs at your fingertips, your playlists are always a work in progress. With Spotify Premium, listen to your music without hearing ads to keep your musical exploration going 24 seven. Get one month of Spotify Premium free. Tap the banner to learn more. Roses are reds, violets are blue, it's Friday night and art we are with you. Good day, gentlemen. Wow, that's a thousand bits. Roses are red, violets are blue. It's Friday night, and Art, we are with you. What's up, Mr. Chips? Oh my God, it's always, always so supportive, Chips. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Good day, everyone. Resting first. What's up? It's windy and it's raining at my end. And there's a small chance of, of some juicy maneuvers on the chessboard as well. That's the weather update from Mustache World. <laughs> I was just hanging around in <clears throat> Aaron's stream, um, playing uh, in the classical arena, pretty much what I'm planning on playing. Weather update from the Mustache World, yeah. <clears throat> So no, let's let's uh, join this, shall we? <clears throat> Some classical maneuvers. I mean, my club's got uh, tournaments on Sunday over the board, federated. Unfortunately for me, I'm 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 not gonna go in the. Art. The problem is the time controls are thirty plus thirty, and I just discovered uh, at the start of this month. And then this is good information for anyone of who is uh, planning on playing over the board. There's a fee day rule <clears throat> that if you breach is 30 plus 30 classical. Yeah, that's that's what I'm about to explain. Chips. It is classical for some, but not all. When you breach 1800 in, in you know in in fee day terms, then there is a law that they have. <clears throat> they say that once you breach 1800. You have to play a time control of 60 minutes plus 30 second increment or longer. And only and only then it's going to count as a rated game. 
I found it the hard way. Like the last tournament that I won, I played against 400 players, and uh, you know I, I won against them. four rated players. I won against them, and I was supposed to get a pretty, pretty decent bump in my in my rating, but uh, that didn't happen. So I reached out to the chief arbiter, and he told me that you know this is the thing. I went to the FIDE website and yeah, it's there. And and it it also, you know, it also changes once you hit 2400, it's even longer. You have to play 90 minutes plus 30 second increment. The 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 literal rule is that assuming it's a 60 move game, you know, you have to play a game of at least 90 minutes if you're 1800 or above. And if you're 2400 and above, you have to play a game of 120 minutes, like two hours at least, for it to be counted as a rated game. So, even though, you know, <clears throat> it's, it's still fun to play over the board in the tournaments at my club arranges, but I won't be going over there as frequently as I was before. I mean, I, 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 told, uh, I told the chief arbiter, you know, the national master who organizes pretty much all of the stuff that, you know, you gotta arrange some 60 plus 30. But the problem is that, you know, we don't uh, have a lot of experienced players in the club and it's kind of tough for the players to manage those time controls. Like it has to be a two day event. <clears throat> um, Huck 300, what's up? Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening, Mr. Huck. Good evening. I'm about to lose a piece, no? Just a little bit. Okay, we will have some compensation. A little distracted. <clears throat> you should definitely have some comp here. Starting off perhaps with this. Here, here. And uh, Mr. Hak, thank you for the 100 bits. <clears throat> I played 180 plus 30 a couple of times. Yeah, that definitely counts as a rated However game. Like to listen, <clears throat> there's a premium plan oh, there comes you. the Add Spotify ads again. The family plan to share <coughs> people under the same roof. Join the duo plan or go solo with the individual plan and get a discount as a student while enjoying offline and ad-free music listening. Get one free month of premium. Tap the banner to learn more. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely tapping something over here. It's not the banner. That's that's rook that I just tapped. That's that's not a banner. <laughs> yeah, let's keep the queens on board. Check. And uh, now we should trade. Uh, let's take uh, with the f1. Open up the file. ECF it's 75 plus 15 or even just 75 plus zero. <clears throat> yeah, in few days. You know, uh, uh, before 1800, you know, like like 30 plus 30 does count as as a, a classical tournament. But once you breach 1800, you have to play longer time controls, which is kind of a bummer. Um, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, let's harvest some pawns. <clears throat> I'm not sure I would survive 180. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of long. Okay, I'll, I'll take this guy. I'll take this guy. Let's get our king some exercise, shall we? Um, How many pawns do I have? Oh, I mean, I'm not counting. This is suck. This is suck. And win the game. <clears throat> But yeah, it's interesting that they have this rule. Um, I checked it myself. It's there if you go on the feed a feed a you know website. Um, it's written there, a couple of lines in there in the laws handbook. I mean, it does make sense, but I wish that I was aware of it before. 
like like you know in the qualifying tournament for the nationals that i won um i, I beat an fm right and that guy was like around uh, he was like almost 2300 but the game didn't count as rated and they just took out uh, one or two games from that event because you know before that event i was like uh, 1798 so you know uh, as soon as i hit 1800 one of the games counted as rated <clears throat> okay good game I remember 120, 30 days, two days for five games. Yeah, yeah, it has to be at least a two day event for those sort of time controls. <coughs> but I think the minimum time control that you need, once you get to 2400, we're talking about Grandmaster level, right? Grandmaster International Master level. That's the minimum standard time control. 90 minutes plus 30 second increment or longer than that anything below than that i mean you can play it they'll even update your win or loss on 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 your fee day profile but it's not gonna have any any effect on your rating so it's it's kind of like playing casual over the board the way you cheese 1400s i wonder if you take it very easy on me in samos I'm, I'm, I'm usually giving it my best shot. You know, I'm on the board, I'm, 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 I'm cruel. <laughs> I mean, I love you, Mr. Dressing Forest, but there is no mercy on the chessboard. Um, let's let's try out a Dutch. Oh, I was forgetting. I have to berserk. I reported the opponent from last stream who had a suspiciously high accuracy and he got banned. Oh my god! Anonymous! Five gifted subs, Anonymous is back. Thank you, Anonymous. Um, thank you for the Arkhamesia. Yeah, I, I got the message from Leeches. I got my rating points refunded. I mean, you know, just... Uh, an unfortunate part of online chess using engines and stuff i try to be as discreet about it as as possible because invariably you know you, you come across someone who's using an engine i just don't like creating drama on the stream and whatnot and you know even if somebody gets burned I just let it happen behind the curtains but i appreciate that you know you looked after me Amicia. Appreciate the sentiment. Anonymous, thank you. Again. Okay, so what am I exactly doing over here? Just shoving pawns, right? Now, I don't particularly like 97, which is why I'm just gonna go back, because I like these juicy options over here. E4 seems like a mistake. I'll play F4, uh, keep the file shut for now. Hey, Chips, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's never easy, you know, dealing with that sort of situation, but uh, with experience I've learned, it's it's just online chess. And especially, you know, since last year when I started playing over the board, um, I, I think very little of it now, you know. Online chess is uh, something that I have become even more comfortable with because I think over the board is where it really matters. Different moods. Give yourself and your loved one listening freedom. Um, freedom so let's do this sort of action, I think. Of time apart to Try and get this right in C5. Albums and podcasts. Tap the banner to learn more. Uh, I'm like, I'm gonna kill this uh, mofo. I haven't seen a Dutch in 80,000 years. Ferdinand, what's up? I've been playing the Dutch very regularly. Um, so knight c5 comes with Tempi, right? There's no time for b4. Which means we should be able to get in uh, a4 as well. 
and then it's going to be a, a very pleasant position because white is now cramped for space hardly cramped wait i could have actually taken ah uh, that would have been a juicy move takes 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 and then bishop bishop f5 is it still working can i take captures captures queen captures and uh, bishop f5 his queen is trapped yep it's working oh no my knight it's a juicy move no that is a juicy maneuver okay good game yeah my boss going to lose the queen is this an unusual queen trap i've never seen one like this it's actually a little common there are certain lines in the kings indian which actually result in this and i remember my game uh, you know uh in the qualifying tournament that i won the the game that i in which i beat the fm he actually played this you know bishop f5 like like he sat his rook on e4 and 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 like like the game is there if you go in my profile it's there in study my queen was on c2 it was a banoni structure and and you know he sat his rook and i was like you know You remember Magnus's expression during Nepomniachtchi's blunders in the World Championship? He was like, and and that's exactly what my expression was like. What he's giving me a rook? What? I took the rook and he played uh, Bishop F F F five, and I remember I had the F three square, which he completely missed, and 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 as soon as I played that, he he said I resigned. but it's 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 actually um <clears throat> it's actually somewhat common um obviously you know the stronger players would wouldn't fall for it but if you want to check out the game that uh, you know in which my opponent uh, the fm who, who blundered you can check it out it's there in the studies <clears throat> thoughts on magnus winning 11 11 in tt wajid what's up magnus is the goat i mean was there any doubt does he really need to prove again and again that he is like you know one of the best i mean uh, for a lot of people the best you know i mean england and maybe the champion but uh, he's magnus right i i i was watching hikaru stream when uh, magnus was crushing everyone actually i was watching a couple of streams magnus and and D- dania stream and gardakanski stream imagine watching three streams at once Yeah, are we berserking? Uh, I think we are. Um, so, what sort of? I want to play a Philidor again, and I want to get myself into trouble. He's going for the center. Okay, let's let's play d6. Let's go for this line, the queen swap variation. I'll play knight d7 now. Somewhat Philidorish, no? <laughs> If there is such a term, this is a somewhat Philidorish setup. I miss that T T. Okay, let's go G six and uh, Bishop G seven. Ah, Gabe also streamed the uh, title Tuesday. I I missed his stream. Like, did he stream it in the second title Tuesday or was it like the first one? This castle bug. <clears throat> 7 11 out of 11 you know it's just phenomenal that's that's actually very tough to achieve in a strong event like titan days there um he's threatening to take no Here, look here. Guard the pawn twice. Here comes the pawn stone. 
think I take now though, like a free pawn. That looks like a free pawn. So this this looks kind of scary. This looks like a mistake. He needed to take. My rook would have been misplaced. Now, I guess we start off by playing this. C5, knight B5, huh? This isn't all that big a concern here. I can also play this, but I'm not a big fan of this move. Let's play knight C5. Something like this, maybe. I guess I can't do that now. There's again a threat here. This? Maybe. Maybe. Time to get yourself an LM title and... Yeah. Okay, so am I blundering something after this? I guess we will find out. I'm walking into the firing line of this dude, but his queen is also hanging, so yeah, I plan on doing that. Once I get any sort of title, um, I'll definitely play in title to you, sir. Well, it's like, you know, one of the toughest tournaments in the world. <laughs> so many strong players. Magnus should quit and become the Dread Pirate Roberts. Yeah, 11 out of 11 was phenomenal. I think uh, uh, up till the last title Tuesday, only Hikaru had achieved 11 out of 11. Okay, what is this guy smoking? Because I think he's smoking something. Oh. Take. Hmm, take everything. Um Where's the mate? Spotify Premium lets you listen to your favorite music without ads, so you can keep the energy going all day. Um, there are too many ads in my Spotify. I need to get premium or something. To learn more. Check it. Check this. 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 Uh, there's still no way. Unreal. Ah, he can also play. No, this would be just cheap. Okay. Ah, there is a mate. I didn't actually know that was mate. But, yeah, it's just a natural move. Develop the bishop and check. It's mate. Is it a long journey to get to your club? It's actually not, not far away. Like, uh, the drive is around like uh, 20 to 30 minutes chips. But, um, you know, it does kind of mess up my schedule. You know, I have an upside schedule because of the streaming. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping vampire hours. So I have to change that schedule and that's kind of not easy. And, you know, you need good sleep when you play over the board, especially the longer time controls. So a certain amount of pre preparation goes into playing in an over the board event. But a big part of me playing, you know, most of the events that my club were arranging was that I was getting to boost my feed rating, you know, I was playing rated games. Now I've kind of hit an obstacle with these longer time controls condition. 
I mean, I'll still probably go and play some of the tournaments, but I'm not going to be as frequent as I was before, right? Because obviously it hurts my schedule of sleeping and I, you know, I, I stream on the same day pretty much when they are arranging tournaments, so I miss out on streams as well, so... Yeah, let's see if uh, they will, uh, you know, start arranging some longer time controls. I mean, I always have the nationals to look forward to. Like in the national event, the time controls are going to be 90, I think, 90 plus 30, or at least 60 plus 30, because those games are definitely federated. So that's one event that's definitely going to be, uh, you know, federated, and there are going to be lots of strong players because it's a national event. So that's going to come in like three months' time. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Okay, no berserking. The berserk rule is 1900 and below. It's classical, so we gotta respect the longer time controls. Has Art ever played with chess with Obi? I haven't seen him stream in forever. I have played quite often with Obi and you're right, I haven't seen Obi in a long time. And unless I'm mistaken, he's actually deleted his uh, Discord account. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure whether Obi is uh, into chess streaming these days. Maybe he's got a new job or something. Yeah, this is actually a line that I don't actually know how to play with the the immediate 94. Somehow I feel you know putting my bishop on a4 is gonna lead towards some sort of akitos. I was like putting my bishop out of the pawn chain. Okay, he takes, which I don't like for him. Play queen b3. Some pressure on uh, the b7 pawn. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Why can't I take here? Why is this guy playing so fast? take the b pawn <clears throat> and now we just have a pawn take e5 maybe oh, he's playing so fast i can obviously exchange because just have a pawn although Coming back with the queen also seems to make some sense. But, I mean, alright, yeah, if he's fine with this, so am I. So am I. Put rook on this nice looking file. Is the city already fixed for the national event? Huck, the national event isn't going to take place in the city where I live in. It's probably going to take a place in a, in a city up north. Hopefully, you know, in the Punjab province, which is kind of not as far as, as you know, if you go further north up. The last time these guys arranged the national event, like, like you know, on the top of the world in the Himalayas, <laughs> in, 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 a, in a place called Gilgit over here in Pakistan. I'm hoping it's it's a little closer, but I don't think it's going to take place in the, in the same city, you know, that I live in. If it did, there is a small chance it could happen over there. That would be just phenomenal because I, I, I don't need to travel anywhere and I can just go ahead and play at it. 
I was actually lucky that they arranged the qualifying tournament in this city as well because there was another candidate city which is around three three hours drive from where I live in. And you know, I mean, three hours drive isn't a lot, but it's still kind of convenient if you can just you know get up and and, and you know just uh, wear your clothes and go and play a chess tournament. That's that's very convenient as compared to traveling. Traveling and playing chess is is not easy, and you've probably heard Hikaru, you know, talk about this. It it it's it's not got to do with just the expenses thing. It's it's got to do with the mental fatigue, you know, of traveling, going through traffic, you know, and and that depletes your mental energy somewhat, and that has an impact on your play. Para, what's up, Mr. Parakovsky in the house? If we flew out, we could have a road trip with our. Yeah, road trips over here are not as fun as they are in the West. I'm I'm all for road trips, but over here they're not as fun. <laughs> Please don't get too distracted. I'm, I'm 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 not. I think I'm doing well here. How much is a liter of gasoline in Karachi? I think the petrol prices have gone down a bit. Uh, let me actually Google that up because I don't actually keep a car for myself. I sold mine around four years ago because I'm a big uh, advocate of uh, not hurting the environment. It's 262 uh, rupees per liter, which is Round about like almost a dollar, like 90, 95 cents per liter. And we are talking about petrol. I guess diesel is probably just a little higher. I think the prices have gone down a bit because uh, this country recently exported some oil from Russia as well. So. <clears throat> Yeah, me, myself, I use, uh, you know, uh, we have this service over here called Kareem, which is, which is like the, which is like, you know, Uber. There was also Uber, but uh, they closed up their business. I, actually, Uber owns Kareem over here in Pakistan. But I usually use that for transportation. It's about 17 chickens or one eighth of a moped. <laughs> but yeah, we don't deal in cash. We, we do barter system, you know. <laughs> 17 chickens for uh, a gallon of gasoline over here. And it's also funny, you know, you guys in the West, you call it gasoline. If you if you ever come to this part of the world and you say gasoline, people are, people are gonna start scratching their heads because they just call it petrol or diesel, and then gas actually is something which literally stands for gas, like in compressed gas. So he finds E5, which is with millions of songs at your fingertips, your playlist a little annoying. But uh, the question is, why can't I take? Listen to your music I'm take this. Ads to keep your musical exploration going 24 7. Get one month of Spotify. I mean, he thought for like two minutes and now he's just sacrificing more. pawns left and right. Why can't I even, even take this? What's going on? Right capture is not possible because of this. Okay. I like pawns. Give me more. Um, you can't have mine though. That's the only condition. You can give me pawns, but you can't have mine. We call it petrol in the UK. Ah, you do, huh? Okay, it takes. Hmm. So the question is, does he have some juice over there because of the, all, all, all of the sacrifices? I think he has nothing. Uh, wait, here he is the stakes and bishop check is not anything. Hmm, nothing. Also, I guess I can just play this. For example, knight over here. 
There's this chick. But let's play it safe, no? Here I'll just take. I mean, he can capture over here with check, but he's still down some stuff, no? Maybe he's given up so many pawns. This is just horrible for him. Also, the bishop colors are the same, so there are no chances of drawing this. Like, like minimum of chances. If these had been opposite colored bishops, yeah, maybe you could have tried for a draw over here. But this looks horrible. Just keep all the rooks on the open files, prepare some gang membership over here. You know, I'm also allowing him to cancel because I'm not worried here. His king is not going to find any respite here. If I came to that part of the world, I think I'd die within about 12 hours. For a short trip, I think a lot of the foreigners would find this place interesting. But uh, yeah, you probably don't want to stay over here for a long time. I mean, I'm, I'm trying my best to, you know, get to Canada. So that probably gives you a hint or two. But uh, for a short trip, it can be actually very, very interesting. I mean, you can get a lot of cheap stuff over here, which I have talked about before. <clears throat> like, like, you know, pretty much ranging from everything, from food to clothes to, to whatever, you know, computer accessories and whatnot. So you can, you can at the very least come over here for a shopping trip. I don't know what the custom, you know, uh, prices are gonna be for taking the goods from over here to to some foreign land, but uh, you get a lot of cheap stuff uh, over here. Mister Mister Cheese Mate with the raid, Mister 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 Mayor of Cheese Land. Thank you so much. I hope you had a good stream, Aaron, and I'm glad I I, I caught some of that. Big shout out to uh, uh, the Mayor of Cheese Land, Mister Cheese. Hope you had a good stream. Have you visited and lived in the West before? And he throws in the sub as well. Mr. Cheese, thank you. Okay, I think I take first and then we we'll deliver the check. I have been to the West, uh, but that was a long time ago. Like I stayed in, in, in the US. I've got, a, I've got a lot of relatives in the US and you know, in Canada as well. I've got an uncle over there. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I stayed in, in the US for around like two months and I got to visit Las Vegas. Uh, uh, I visited uh, Phoenix as well. And, and, and you know, my uncle's family is there in Santa Clara, California. So these are the places that I visited. I'm talking about like, you know, 30 years ago almost. Way back in 91. It was uh, very small at that time. So this pawn is kind of annoying. Maybe go ahead and grab it. But first, let's let's take this guy. Okay, now I think I just go up. I can also allow him to check me and then go up. But he might get smart and play this first before the check. I think I just go up anyways. No. Take out uh, the dangerous spawn and so forth. I don't actually mind this a lot. I mean, maybe I mind it a little bit, but uh, not a lot. Let's throw in a check. See what that. No, actually, I should take the pawn first. Let's take the pawn. Why am I thinking in this position? Okay, now I'll throw in the check. Actually, there was probably something better here, right? This or this. I was, I was my rook was actually keeping his king boxed in, but okay. Well, I didn't expect this. He wants me to wait him, no? Um, this is mate, this is also mate. So I guess good game. Some some moves are available. 
Adam, what's up? <laughs> Not as the most interesting man in the world. He doesn't always drink beer, but when he does, it's with check. Okay, good game. Good game. Reading this book by Santa Yana, it is called The Life of Reason. In my head, he has a voice just like art. Really? Now that's an interesting thought. Mr. Para. It's kind of an easy game, no? The guy was 2100 plus and he was like... And maybe he wasn't in the mood to play. Ooh, and a hundred bits by Mr. Huck. Thank you. Thank you, Huck. <clears throat> Okay, yeah. so 2000 plus, you guys know the Berserk rule. I always try and play educational chess up till the point where, you know, people berserk me, and then I have to berserk them back. Or when I get tilted and, and, you know, then the degenerate stuff starts happening. Even after the berserk, this is still a rapid game, right? 10 minutes is like an eternity. Play d5. This isn't like a particularly good opening for uh, like what's he doing? This guy is like the previous guy. He's just giving me pawns. I guess he can get that one back. Uh, let's just develop and castle and just have a clean pawn. Without a worry in the world. <clears throat> F3 maybe knight takes. Uh, he plays this. Guess I'll take this castle. <clears throat> ah, I allowed him this. I was too hasty with Bishop F6. I guess he gets his pawn back. Although I still have this. Kind of an uncomfortable move to make. No, he still gets his pawn back. He has to play this now. Bishop captures and then take over here. Terrible. Uh, maybe I needed to just bring my bishop back. Why couldn't I just do that? Why couldn't I just do that? Just bring bishop e7. Just 97 is just horrible. Okay, nice. He has some maneuvers. But he still got uh, busted up pawn structure. Plus, uh, I've got the bishop there. So I still like my position. Okay, so c5 knight has to go over here. This is a huge mistake because it's a6. Finds the move. Uh, do I want to trade queens? Probably no. Keep the queens on board. Again, a pleasant position. And develop the bishop freely. Probably over here. And then bring this guy in over here as well. I 
guess I'll settle with Rook B8. We have Rooks. We have a lot of Rooks. He's, he's preparing this. Maybe he's already gotten it. Why must he make threats like this? B5 can I play? That is not too much. <clears throat> Let's keep this bishop over here to avoid any, you know, of uh, knight c5 stuff. Where this? We are heading into an opposite colored bishop endgame, but pawn is a pawn, no? Pawn is a pawn. Keep this bishop over here or bring this guy over here? This bishop is kind of strong, so I <clears throat> have to be careful. B5, I want to play. Or maybe even suck in some cases. Let's see. I'm still up on, so you know he's he's still got a lot of uh, stuff to worry about. avoid any any sort of these shenanigans I mean I need some breathing room for my rooks bishop is cramping my style so he's just gonna repeat moves huh Here he plays this. Yes, now he's probably going to play this. Oh, he just wants to suck. Just wants to suck. Sucking maneuvers. Oh, wait a second, what about my B-Pawn? <laughs> forgot about my B-Pawn. I forgot about that.
in here I'm, I'm thinking about taking how how bad is that like is that bad is it bad <clears throat> This is also possible, but then he has this. Hmm. Meanwhile, the B-pawn is also hanging. Stick. He has good chances of drawing now. I've messed this up a little bit. Now I think he's messed it up. Why not take B pawn? What was that? What was that? You can have this. And I hope I don't run to this completely winning game. Wait, over here I have this. And obviously I'm, I'm taking my time as well, right? Playing like a grandfather. <sighs> yeah, sometimes I just need, uh, you know, I need to lose a game. And, and, and then Oh, weird. He has this now as well. Hmm. No signal. No problem. With Premium, you can open up a new world of listening possibilities. Download and play what you want to hear wherever you go offline. And with ad-free music listening, it's easier to stay in the zone without audio interruptions. Get one month of premium free. Hit the banner to learn more. Dang it. I'm about to mess up, no? I think I'm about to mess up. Am I still fine? I messed up, no? Jesus. Yeah, some exception play towards it. Some really strong play towards the end. <clears throat> Clearly I was better out of the opening. But somewhere something went wrong.
The hair already white is better. Amazing. Because I'm still up upon. So this is this is some good technique. Why white? Perfect. What's up? Introduction. I should have struck out with the B5, huh? I was thinking about this, like, like you know, this, this, or maybe I don't even take over here, and I can just take this way. But then he has this, right? So what is Starfish talking about here? B5. What happens if G5? Mistake. Who captures? You have to capture with queen. Why can't why can't they just take over here? Ah, obviously because the queen is on the rook. So if I sack uh, the exchange over here, I get the rook. It's the weekend, that it is. Yeah, this was just a uh, dead lost uh, after g5. There's actually no good defense. I just have to give the piece. The tactical threats I just did not realize here. Look h6. Okie dokie. Moving on with life. Art is talking to his lawyer. No, I'm not. <clears throat> Just randomly typing stuff on my keyboard. Okay, let's berserk again. And try some... Actually, what do I actually try against this? I have no idea. I just usually play knight f6. Okay, let's let's be different about you know stuff. Let's play d5. Um, and he plays c4. I mean, I, I literally don't know anything over here. I, I guess c6. Your keyboard has a satisfying a satisfying clunk. Yeah, it's ASMR for the stream, right? Ah, look at this guy's name, Black Art. Art versus Black Art. That's right. That is right. Play Queen B6. Eyes on the prize. Uh, Bishop F5, I do not have, right? Queen captures, and if captures over here, this check just loses. Hmm. Also, my bishop is hanging, so let's just develop. Now I'm threatening this. I don't see any, any problems with bishop f5 now. Takes her, takes her. Oh no, my bishop. Bishop d3 doesn't work as well. Queen b3, I think, is actually a good move. Okay, this looks bad. Now rook c8 with tempi. B4 with tempi. I 
Actually, that was not such a good move. Yeah, but he doesn't see it. Actually, maybe even bishop e5, I had this. I just lost after the check and this uh, collection. Bishop e5 is a mistake now because I, I can take. Mm, let's just take away the square for good. I guess he can still take over here and take this guy, but that's okay. And I can't be just winning material and then not giving anything back. Wait, what about b6? b6 wins, no? No, it doesn't win. It almost wins, kind of. Do I care about this pawn? I don't think I care about that pawn. I'm just gonna go b6 and check. Queens are swapped off. Um, kind of uh, missed that move. I kind of forgot that he had this maneuver. It's actually annoying. <clears throat> Maybe e5. Uh, I guess now he can trade and, and, and pick up the pawn for free. Okay. Okay, okay. Still winning for me. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't even bother taking the pawn. Um, I guess I castle. I should watch more of this stream in my life instead of 2650 players blitz. I mean, Blitz is fun to play and to watch as well, but obviously, you know, it it it's you're not gonna learn as quickly because it it's kind of opposite with chess. The slower you you play, the the faster you learn, and the same applies when you're watching a chess stream. Okay, this position is just dead lost for uh, White. I guess I just double up. Um, we'll throw in the check, because why not? As as Hikaru would say, right? Why not? Let's simply double up. This allows this. Forgot about this, of course. I forgot about that. Um, come back. Just for a little bit, not a lot. And he gets his dream move, huh? Logical, logical. So, I don't have anything here, huh? Card. I mean, Queen over here, he has this. Most annoying. Maybe I should just pin this knight and I'm done. Uh, just... It's also g5. Okay, let's go g5. Let's go for some provocative maneuvers. Now I'm actually out of ideas. And eventually I hope uh, to crash through somehow. Not doing anything with the knight, I guess that's the freaking problem here, right? So maybe this. Let's try and do something with the with the knight. This and this or something. Right here, f6. I mean, I also could have gone in with the rook. Which I'm gonna do now. I don't know why I'm playing so fast. 
There's actually no reason to play so fast. I think that's a free pawn, no? Nice and juicy. The rook was actually protected over here because of the pressure. It's coming. Rook C2 is coming. I mean, eventually I should find something de decisive. Still need to fend off some uh, annoying night moves. The not learning part is a worry for me. It's also a very tiring. This is much more pleasing experience. I've always appreciated slow chess. Even, you know, when I'm talking about like three, four years back, when I started streaming, I used to play a lot of rapid. I mean, I was pretty good at blitz back then as well. My blitz has definitely gone down, you know, I've lost like, I'm talking about strength, strength wise, I've lost like 200, 300 ELO because I just get flagged a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm still good positionally. I, I get good positions, but I'm just not that fast anymore. Try as I might. Hogs on the seventh. Yeah, pigs on the seventh. And then we've got a horsey about to jump in as well. Yeah, this move is going to be crushing. And the problem for white is it's as if they're playing down a queen and a rook. These guys are not doing anything. And, and the bishop isn't doing anything as well. Only this guy is, is, is working for a living. And you can't play chess like that. You, you need to employ all of your resources. You know, this guy is, is like uh, the only guy who's working. And now that guy is also gone. <laughs> I mean, he, he literally only played with his knight. You know, I... I think he should resign, no? Bishop F3. How many moves did the knight make? It's it's interesting. Uh, so starting from over here, I think it was all knight moves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, there was a second night as well, but really. I could have done this. No, I couldn't have done that. What am I talking about? Uh, now there's mate, right? No, there isn't mate. He'll just take. How do I hallucinate such moves? <clears throat> okay. He designed anyways. Kind of a weird game. I didn't think I played particularly well, but... So many night moves by my opponent. Too many night maneuvers. It's not easy being greasy. Easy one point. Wow, they gave me a point for that, huh?
tips and taps let's oh no i shouldn't have i shouldn't have berserk this guy this guy is actually very decent my berserk threshold i just you know destroyed it myself is 1900 plus this guy is actually very solid not easy to take down if i get myself in time trouble i shouldn't have berserk Well, it's too late to worry about it anyways. Just for a second I forgot, you know, that the berserk threshold was 1900 and below. Yeah, but scores can can be, you know, deceiving. Don't go after the score card. Same plan, different moods. Give your I've played with him enough to know that he's he's actually solid. Tune in together or make the most of time apart to recharge with your own playlists, albums and podcasts. Tap the banner to learn more. Okay, let me let me come back very quickly guys. I'll make some moves on my cell phone.
prodigal son returns bishop d6 rook e1 i want to go into end game with bishop pair <clears throat> seems like a good maneuver is this not a worry yet i guess he's simply preparing this okay position is decent not like super winning or anything Let's put bishop back and then try and provocate this move with idea c4 and b3. Okay, he continues developing as if nothing is happening. What about running with Harry over there or something? Play bishop c2. Something like knight b6. I want to play this. Okay, wait just a second. Did he just brother this? Knight takes. This has got to be winning. First, maybe trade. Wait a second. Trade, rook captures, knight captures, king captures, queen comes in, check, king there. That looks almost winning. I can also maybe just suck anyways. He has this move though. I have to calculate this correctly. Knight captures queen over here. Bishop there I have. Knight captures over here, I eat rook. Oh, but first he can also trade. Looks really bad for him. <clears throat> Trade first and then go for this. Okay, takes takes check here. What do we have? Do we have anything or nothing? Also, this is still playable. Bishop G5 doesn't look bad, also. Right over here, definitely I'm sacking. I guess he, he could just play this. Knight F7 I had, but I was worried about this. <laughs> okay, but this looks like mistake, no? Definitely looks like a mistake. How how to do this? Bishop captures, pawn captures. Hmm. Right, captures, pawn captures. Bishop captures also option. 
I don't see the juice. We are uh, devoid of juice over there, unfortunately. Okay, let's at least mess up his pawn structure. Go after this guy. Yeah, the dart I thought was mistake. I have this. It is five. Simply threatening this. And also bishop as well. Check because why not? King h8 I take and check this one. Knight on h5 is going to be useful in order to defend against this. He's happy trading. Obviously move comes with check. You need another stream called the book club with mustache. Yeah, my bishop isn't the best, unfortunately. His knight is most annoying. Challenge uh, the foul. Also not allowing this. Yet. I mean, he can take and play that, but there will be F3 stuff. I, I, I missed something for sure. I missed something for sure. University clue says F5 was for free. Wait, what? I could have taken F5. I don't know, maybe I could have. Oh, I'm getting low on the clock. I missed some tactics earlier. Not too happy about that. He's got back rank issues, so he can't even build battery. Otherwise, this check is decisive. Also, this check looks annoying. Provoking some weaknesses. why he's thinking over there because he has to play this. This move or queen is seven. Yes, seven may be stronger. One is still hanging, huh? So if he tries this, check forcing off queen trade or something. Should be good. Thank you for the follow. I, I missed I missed some stuff here for sure. Definitely missed some stuff here. <clears throat>
Oh wait, my queen is hanging. I was about to take his bishop. Dude, my queen is literally hanging. Like, you know. Come on. Obviously check first. Queen trade is barred for him, I think. Super barred. I'll just take and play this after the trade. I almost blundered my queen. I, I was about to take the bishop. Yeah, I'm not too sure why he's so happy with this. And I do get a pawn. I think maybe that's all I need here. I'm hoping that's all I need. I wasted so much time earlier, you know, trying to calculate some devastating tactic and never found anything. So bad. It's terrible. Still winning, but it's not as satisfying. Yeah, I should have done knight f7. of songs at your fingertips your playlists are always a work in progress with spotify premium listen to your music without hearing ads to keep your musical exploration going 24 7 get one month of spotify premium free tap the banner to okay now two pawns should be easy to convert this let's start locking everything down also opening up diagonal for king this is obviously all due to the time situation here. Need to just trade off this knight. Now we just write as rain. We check and collect also option. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Just take anyways. He wants this. Please don't blunder this, Mr. Vega. I could have just brought my knight back into activity here as well. <sighs> Unreal. How I make a hash of, of, of simple, you know, maneuvers. Simple winning position and... Pesky night. Pesky. I mean, can I win this or is that too freaking hard? Probably is too freaking hard. Can 
and we start you know some stuff over here wait what okay. i'll take your pawn sir all of them if i must i shall indeed i'll probably get my right trap i don't think so though Okay, now he can actually just resign. But obviously he's going to try out for the time factor. Um, I mean, I don't know, it seems like I have to activate each and every pawn in order to win this. It seems as if I have to literally activate every pawn that I have to win this game. This is a piss poor job of converting a game, but you know, in time scramble, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, you know, just super bad. So, <clears throat> yeah. I blundered this one as well, huh? Okay, don't blunder stalemate, please. Just, just you know, keep the knight far, far away from where his king is. Do not blunder stalemate. <laughs> let's just, let's just keep the knight way, 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 way. No possibility of stalemates. <sighs> so bad. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Terrible. Million ways I could have finished the game off and I in the end I almost got flogged. Terrible. Friday classical games. Charles, what's up? I'm, I'm sorry I missed so much chat. Elliot, uh, uh, Roger in the house as well. How are you? Good day, everyone. I think I missed a lot of messages. So if somebody said something important, uh, it's just too hard for me to scroll back. Feel free to post your message again. I just want to see that position where I had, I thought I had a sack. Like, like you know, this position. Um, here, this is what I'm curious about. Knight f7 isn't working, right? Because first he trades, I have to take with bishop and then queen, yeah, I was right not to go for the sack. Queen c6 threatens mate and also guards the pawn. 
Um, so the correct move is to trade, which I did. Now I had knight f7 and I chickened out. Okay, so after knight f7, king f7, queen there. Okay, this much I saw in my mind, but I didn't I didn't know how to proceed here. It's like knight h5 is kind of inhuman. What is knight h5? He just takes and then you take over here and then you have set up bishop g6. Okay, you know, maybe you can calculate this in a in a classical game or something, but yeah, who knows what's going on over here? There, 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 and even the bishop is hanging. What the heck is this position? Unreal. <laughs> okay, so black has to play king c8, and then we start getting our material back. And then there is this, defending the bishop as well. Crazy. We've been studying a lot of books, tactics and end games. Well, it's all going to pay off, Charles. With the experience I've learned, the work, you know, the hard work that you put in in chess, like, like studying chess books is, is super hard work. It, it, it pays off eventually. Okay, a complete, you know, hash of a game there made by me. Doing puzzles definitely helps, you know, the long puzzles. Doing longer puzzles definitely helps. And that's one of the reasons I've been doing them regularly on stream as well. Because I think it's helping me out in my middle game. <laughs> I once met this co-worker. I asked him where he was from and he said he was Slav. I said, okay, then you're good at chess. He looked at me like it was a racial slur. Uh, this guy didn't move, huh? Okay. Whatever. Okay, I think I have a berserk here because my threshold is 1900 and below. I wish there was a collection of puzzles that are specifically for calculating long variations. Well, if you do the puzzles on leeches, um, you eventually come across, you know, some longer variation puzzles. I'll play the Felidar because I've been experimenting with this position. And, and, and yeah, that's, that's why I'll play it. <laughs> Uh, wait, but I'm I'm already at sea over here. I don't know what to do. I have no clue what I am doing. The d4 I have to take, no? And I usually like playing knight d7. But, okay, he doesn't play d4, which is probably wrong. Knight f6. Yeah, d4, you know, if knight d7, white can take, take and play queen d5. Black gets in trouble. But here I'm just totally fine. I, I need to do this better though, you know. This is this is really pathetic how I play the fellow dog. This is super bad. I mean, I'm doing, I, I've been solving the puzzles at 2700, 2800 uh, range, Charles, and I do come across a lot of them that have longer variations. 
at least the ideas have you know you have to calculate deeply so it i don't think it's absolutely necessary that the puzzle has to go on for 10 12 moves it's just that it, it should be such a puzzle that makes you calculate that many moves in your mind, right? Uh, what's going on over here? A5, I guess? Hmm. Let me look here. The AFI was kind of an hasty move. A6 was better, right? Supporting B5. Anyways. No serious problems yet. Okay, I'll play Bishop F8. Uh, some threats over here. Taking and taking. Hey, Ollie B, happy Friday. It's good to see you. Coming in late for a change, huh? Usually, Ollie B is very early in the stream. So he defends. And that annoys us. Why must she defend like that? What to do with bishop? I guess b6 and bishop b7? I've executed this sort of maneuver before. It isn't especially good. Because it takes a while for this diagonal to open up, if it ever does. Wait, but now he blunders this, no? Can't take with pawn, otherwise this uh, pawn is lost. Taking with the piece isn't good here. Um, okay, now he has to give up bishop pair as well after c5 because the trade is forced. We will have advantage of bishop pair, we will also have bishop e7. So everything has been sort of gifted to us by our opponent. The trade really helps me out because it uh, activates the other knight and also, you know, just uh, preparing bishop e7 and also the position, I guess, advantage of a bishop there. So this bishop e3 was a positional blunder, forcing white to go into an unfavorable trade. And the bishop moved uh, like two times as well, so. Should be better now. No signal. No problem. With Premium, you can open up a new world of listening possibilities. Download and play what you want to hear wherever you go offline. And with ad-free music listening, it's easier to stay in the zone without audio interruptions. Get one month of Premium free. Hit the banner to learn more. I have 104 puzzles in leeches. Have you ever replayed them? Yeah, I know leeches, uh, you know, makes puzzles out of actual games that are played. But I, I mean, I don't see the point of replaying my own puzzles. I, I, I do the puzzles, you know, just the regular puzzles, but obviously leeches doesn't give me my own puzzles since I've already played those positions. There's a link on Leeches which allows you to check if you have any puzzles on Leeches. Okay, so we have somewhat of a decent position. How to crash through is uh, 
is the question over here. White's also got a lot of problems with this bishop. Yeah, that's why he played this, right? In order to connect his rooks. So bishop f7 is not a bad move at all. There are some tactics involved here. e5 and this. So, what to do? Start by playing this. I'm not a big fan of this though. This is also playable, I guess. This sounds like a good idea. You may not have found the correct solution in the actual game. I guess you do make a point, MT. There is that. I guess I'll I'll play them out if uh, leeches, uh, you know, throws them at me when I'm doing puzzles. Bishop c4, um, I mean, I, I need to do something, right, um, in order to open up the position. Let's go for this move, at least not allow this. Bishop e5, I just take and double up his pawns. I guess I'll probably have to play this. At some point in time. Actually, I can't play this. Maybe I can. Sure. White is definitely playing well. So far. B3, huh? Yeah. So, this is a thought. I guess I can also play d5. Let's go d5. Let's finally, you know, pull the trigger. Takes over here. We'll uh, trade off Eruk. And capture this with the knight, I guess. Pick. Trying to calculate whether he wants to capture this with the knight or the rook. Probably with the knight, right? Because then after knight over here, maybe this. But it isn't such a huge problem for me. Do you only play classical during tournaments? Charles, I was also playing Rapid, uh, like around like four or five months ago, I stopped playing Rapid because then the club started arranging classical, you know, classical federated tournaments. 
plus i also you know got above 2000 in rapid now don't get me wrong i like rapid as well and i plan on playing more of it but my priority of course is to first uh, you know focus on my rapid rating which is what is going to get uh, me a title i guess eventually hopefully i can take but uh, then again i give up the bishop as i guess i won't you can play this knight b5 i have queen check here we should be fine yeah i want to i want to focus on playing classical and, and and you know keep on improving my rating in classical time formats jono oh my god the man from the land down under it's been ages okay now i think we are getting some action here he just wasted time moving his bishop this knight and bishop combination is is kind of strong now white needs to be careful jono how have you been and how is the chess coming along Let's go in for the kill. Can't move knight otherwise this check looks strong. So probably he will defend with king, huh? Not a way. Not a way. Okay, let's advance with Harry. Now he does have this. But I figure I'll have check, and he plays this. I have check again, and then maybe I'm in trouble. Huh? So this check isn't working out, no. What is it? Why isn't my check working out? Thank you for the follow. And then what exactly am I doing with this silly bishop? Like a super powered bishop. Okay, let's back off. I've been good. I haven't had the chance to do a lot of chess since the tournament I played in April, and I was pretty tilted after that. Work has also been busy. You played over the board in April, huh? I've been I've been playing a lot of over the board as well, Jono. I've gotten my fee day upwards of eighteen hundred. Um. So this guy is hanging, huh? Just a little bit. What to do about that? Bishop captures, queen captures. I'll still have bishop there, but nothing obvious. Still need to find a way of activating this guy, right? This move is now definitely on, if he allows it. I guess he can play this. And why am I allowing him to climb into me like that? I have no idea. Find the move as well. Check here.
I can take and then do the check. I can also decline the trade, I guess. I went for 3 out of 3 to 3.5 out of 6 in the last tournament. In 4 consecutive rounds, I played 2nd seed. 5th seed, 1st seed and then drew my last round after being up 2 pawns because I was so tilted and didn't give my opponent any respect with my play. Yeah, I know that is that happens and it's difficult to deal with. Um, you know, if, if you get tilted during an over-the-board tournament, it's, it's, it's uh, not so good because it affects your play a lot. So it's, it's even more important to keep, keep uh, your emotions in check. Um, but still, maybe you're being too hard, right? Um, three points out of three games. Obviously, later on, you get paired with stronger players. So that is the... Okay, let's throw in the check. This guy is actually worrying me now. He's doing really well. I'm, I'm really missing my bishop there. <clears throat> this move is possible, but it's not an especially juicy move. What to do? I hope I don't get my coin trapped with this move. I can set up the coin trap this way. Maybe. Okay, that gives me a very nice square though. For the night, I'm, I'm gonna take that all day long. All day long, we will take that square. C4, I think I want to play next. <clears throat> game against the second seed anytime I made a blunder they missed the chance I was lucky and not punished see so the door swings both ways right sometimes you blunder sometimes your opponent blunders but that's something very important which chess teaches us it's just to remain uh, calm with our emotions we like this move Again, I don't have a clear plan here, though. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll just trade this guy off. It seems like a fair plan. And get myself some access to these squares. C4 I had, but I wasn't such a big fan of it. it would have made my bishop dull different moods give yourself and your loved one listening freedom with spotify premium duo tune in together or make the most of time apart to recharge with your own playlists albums and podcasts tap the banner to learn more gonna start playing fast I mean, knight is pinned, but I don't think he can build on that pen, no? Queen creeps out over here. We are looking at some uh, stuff. 
some tender stuff. His bishop is good, but it's it's only his bishop, right? So as long as I don't allow any any other attacking party to join, I think uh, I'm gonna be fine. Jamaican, thank you for the 23 months. Two years in coming, dang, it's been that long. Yeah, 23 months. Thank you, Jamaican, appreciate it. Oh, I, I don't have that, but I do have this. Oops, I just gave my bishop tear up. Please don't blunder any tactics. Or was this like a stupid move? As if this. Ah, then I'll save the bishop. He can't take here, otherwise this is just game over. Check, we will have, we will also have this, but then his king escapes. I think I'm winning now. <clears throat> Just gotten his knight badly burned. His battery looks ominous. Check, I guess he can block with something, huh? Okay, now it should definitely be over. The question is how. I can take over here to begin with. I can also throw in the check. I can also do this. There are many moves. Um, okay, you know, the signal over here of uh, me going under, under the minute. I'm just going to go with this. Let's try and finish him off, shall we? Yeah, the thing is, you know, people don't flag me most of the time. It's it's me who who you know gets flagged himself. I I get flagged myself. So yeah, that's I guess that's a small difference. You get the point, right? I'm to blame for most of the flags. Okay, let's talk about the king. And see if we can get the necessary juice. Let's see if I can acquire the juice here. There's not too much to ask for. I'll take the night, thank you. The thing is, it's, it's a curious thing, you know, uh, uh, this flagging thing. I mean, 
when when you see your opponent is about to get flagged, it's funny how you start blundering as well, right? Have you ever noticed this? Like like this guy has twelve minutes, and then you know just, I'm the one who's low on time here, but <laughs> he 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 started blundering, right? So it's 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 curious how flagging works. Now it's it's like uh, you know a slow painful death over here. No good moves for white. He's down the pawn. But yeah, yeah, in this position, you should definitely resign. There's no hope. There is no hope. And you can still make pawn moves, right? So I don't need to be worried about uh, stalemates and stuff. Hmm, good game. Nobody but nobody flags, Mr. Seth. But yeah, I do get flagged a lot now. I was better at not getting flagged when I was younger. But then again, I complain about, you know, getting flagged as well a lot. My my position play is still solid, so maybe I should just you know focus on that. Just win by the position, and not let the time become a factor in any any way. How? It's knight h six, huh? That is a fine looking knight you have there, sir. Okay, let's develop. What I'm doing though actually here or here or what do I want out of life? There's so much that I want out of life but I'm getting none of that in this position. Um, I guess I can also just castle instead of thinking about developing here. There's also H3, so many moves. So many maneuvers. So little time. Yeah, let's take this guy. Let's defend the pawn from the obvious threat of captures and captures. He cannot take and play knight h4. It's not like a super good position for black. He's, he's wasted time on this knight. Also this I have. I like this. Just get the knight to a fine outpost and make this guy look silly. I guess I still need to figure out what I want to do with my bishop. Yeah, he doesn't like my knight there, does he? Why would he? So... I guess I'll just back off. I don't want to trade this guy for uh, a freshly developed knight. Hmm. He's begging for trades now though. Trade, 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 trade everything. 
okay I'll, I'll i'll let him have this trade if he wants what about it what about a little bit of knight d6 captures captures knight d6 he has knight e5 i have but then simply queen c8 Takes, hmm. takes, shakes. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting nothing out of that. I am getting nothing out of the trade, which is a little bit unfortunate. I wanted to sack. But there isn't anything there. I've allowed him to catch up on our development, huh? It's castle now. Let's play h3 and prepare to bring bishop over here, I guess. Keep this guy on h2. In case of stuff like this. He's not allowing that, huh? Well, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna take the trade off the table altogether. <clears throat> Definitely not trading and allowing his bishop to become active. We'll just go after this guy. Okay, connecting the rooks. So I'm better in development again. I probably shouldn't have allowed this. But okay. Simply back off. No trades for you, sir. B B3 and C4. So some rook D1 and rook E1. These rooks ha have to work for a living, no? Would have played this as well. Uh, he, he loves, he just wants to trade. Okay, but he's given me f4 with tempi. Bishop h4, knight h6. Knight h6, g6 he has. Um. E6. What to do? Not G6 is kind of a bummer. Otherwise, Knight H5 would have been fun. G6, Queen G4, maybe? That looks really awkward. I also play something like this, I guess. Not a big fan though. He can trade and then play this. Yeah. Play the boring knight e4, I guess. And some ideas of f5. Some ideas of f5. Hmm, trades. Okay, takes. What 
are you going to do with your bishop? What's right there, huh? Also prepared something like this. Okay, let's have the queen trade then. Unless he plays this, of course. Doesn't. I thought that was a good move. Just offering a queen trade. Um, that would be one, I guess. Don't want to allow this. Um, this is threat, no? Clear as day, right? But he has allowed me this. What happens if I take? He played this, huh? <clears throat> I come back with a knight and then there's this fork. I also played this. Taking too much time, of course. Like, I don't know, I, I feel like taking time with my chest today. Okay, he's happy with Queen Trade. Um, wrong answer was Spotify Premium. Download and take what you love to hear offline to stay true to you. From your couch to dancing in the streets with reckless abandon, we won't judge. Get one month of Spotify Premium free. Tap the banner to learn more. Hey, I guess he can play this, but there's also this, but then that creates a weakness, right? My knight is definitely better than this guy. For sure. Let's creep up slowly <clears throat> with with silence. Why can't I take? Why can't I take, sir? <laughs> I'm not afraid of uh, your rook c2 maneuver. I also take this. Rook c2 checking g3, h, g, and I have rook c2, right? Uh, rook f2, sorry. And I'll take. Now he's just wasted pawns, I feel. <laughs> Um, I can also go up and threaten something like this. Okay, let's let's just keep it safe, shall we? Why allow this? Why allow this? 
tuxedo stuff. I guess he's probably gonna lash out now with f5. Or something. Maybe g6 maybe. g6 he can't play. You have this and this. I mean, I can go into rook endgame over here. How many pawns am I up? Just one. Could lead to draw. Possibly. Hmm. That's not a bad move at all. Not bad. Again, I'm low on time, huh? as usual. As usual. You're doing a great job. With the time management. Triple this. <clears throat> King of seven, I have this. Well, uh, it's a good question. It's it's mostly got to do with intuition, resting forest. Like like in a rook end game, sometimes pawns can be doubled up. And yet they can be useful. You have to assess the activity of the pieces on the board. It's it's kind of like an intuition thing. I just put the position in my mind and I ask it, how do you like this? And then the mind responds. Obviously, when you give the mind more time, it's going to respond better. But sometimes when you're in a scramble, you just have to go with that first impression that you get. So it's 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 just about instinct, I guess. And everyone has that. You can, you know, with experience in time, you learn how to trust and, and make better use of, of your instinct. He develops, he defends this way. Interesting. He allows me this, it's game over. Nah, I just, I just gave him this. He didn't take advantage of her.
starting to mess up now, aren't I? Just a little bit. Happy with trade? Why? Why is he so happy with this trade? Check and collect. Just simply run with this phone. I hope that is enough. Stopping this. Take, I take here, and I guess he's gonna try this. I obviously, check the king out from there. He has to check now. No other move. I and mean, I, I kind of, you know, bungled just a little bit, but okay. Here, I was just wasting time. Uh, he's, he's, he's in time travel as well, so. Only move was this, no? Now it's too late. It's too late. Is this still a draw after, after, after this move? I think it is. Rook G2 was obviously unnecessary. I'm playing so casually, this is drawn. No, it's winning. Wait, what happens after this? I simply run here. I guess I can still, I mean, it's just completely winning. Come on. Okay. Okay, dokie. Those three connected pawns look scary for a second. Yeah, but they were kind of far away from the queening square. Whereas I was gaining a lot of traction with my passes. I think I had the game under control. Oh god, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel kind of good. Mr. Lootstick. And Mr. 39, Mr. Erdias. What's up? Lootstick, thank you for the four months. Uh, guten Abend. He's from Germany. He's a... Uh, He's a strong player. His loot stick. Okay, let's let's move on. Let us move on. Thank you for the follow, Stein Cool. Yeah, for some reason today I'm I'm just playing, you know, like lazy chess. Just you know, I just, I just want to sit on the move forever. Even if it's someone lower rated, I just want to, you know, just sit and, and think and think and think. Like I, I, it's hard to explain the feeling. I'm not tired or anything, but it's just how I want to play my chess today. Just, you know. Think forever and ever. Hundred games in classical from India. Huh? Thinking in classical games is behold G four. Yes, Mr. G four, Mr. Mr. Grobster. What's up? Behold, you're in your right. Besides, it's Friday, so I just chill out. Says Erdias. That's also true, no? Because obviously, I didn't berserk this guy. He's almost like twenty three hundred. I've never seen you play the Petrov because I don't I don't play that. I don't like that lying. 
Yeah, this is obviously a very drawish theoretical line and for some reason I keep, you know, playing it. But okay. Split C6. All theory. Uh, let's play Rook B8, like so. Get the rook on the open philo and whatnot. Uh, I mean, he can take, which gives up the bishop pair and doubles up the pawns, but not like, you know, a super big deal. Now this guy is hanging, so rook b1 he will play, I guess. I guess I will uh, just question this bishop. What is it you want? H3 is interesting instead of bishop g5. Yeah, H3 is is also is also part of theory. Um, like instead of queen f3, you can just play h3. It's a it's also a very theoretical move. But this usually ends up going into a draw with accurate play that is. The knight wants to come over here and you know just do some bad stuff. It wants to be a bad boy. Let's play c5. Threaten some c4 stuff. Advance in the center. Right here I, I, I have options of taking. He plays the it's interesting. So right here, huh? This is gonna be a problem. E4 players are addicted to Queen F3. Yeah, it's just a more aggressive move, right? Yeah, so what do we wanna do with life here? This is probably almost definitely gonna be a draw. I don't know how to juice up the position. There seems to be very little juice in this position. No? It's a juiceless position. Hey, Sphinx, what's up? Really? Rookie one, though. He's asking for some trouble. Just a little bit of it. No? But maybe he's, he's fine. Rookie one seems unnecessary on this part, though. Why would you play rookie three? Weird. Okay, bishop d7. Keeping file open. Now if knight moves, I just take and take. And I win pawn. So maybe he will play some b4 stuff. It's good to see you, Sphinxy. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, this is... This game is a long game, right? I'm, I'm gonna take a minute here. I wanna... Tend to a nature call. I'll be right back.
no signal. No problem. With Premium, you can open up a new world of listening possibilities. Download and play what you want to hear wherever you go offline. And with ad-free music listening, it's easier to stay in the zone without audio interruptions. Get one month of Premium free. Hit the banner to learn more.
it's not the petra this is this is uh where was this this is a scotch game md night what's up this night in the house this is not uh, the thing called a petrov yes okay, so right here i have this maneuver we have such maneuvers interesting though he does the cute idea bishop catches rook catches and then bishop over here I play a four. Am I getting myself into trouble? Because he is threatening this himself. I think I'm gonna play this. Always, you know, a four and. Ah. Hmm. WJ Loof, what's up? For example, I can take and I have fast pawn of my own. But he's also got a pass, you know? What is to be done over here? Bishop here also possible would be interesting move for example bishop over here this rook a8 we definitely have some juice some but not a lot bishop here is also possible but then we are just simply swapping off pawns I do like this option. So much so, I'm gonna play it. If Bishop catches his all this rook here, should be able to get my pawn back. Something like knight here. And I can trade and this pawn would be hanging. He can't go for this, I guess. Actually, he can't go for that. But we'll be quiet about that. And if, if he does that. Uh... Rampaging Rooks. Oh my god, young man. Maybe not so young anymore. I'm seeing you after a long time. How are you, Rampaging? been quite a while hasn't it it has i'm seeing you almost after a year or something how's it going rampaging are you still streaming how's the chess i'm doing well i'm doing well i've been playing a lot of over the board So all good. In the mustache hood. <sighs> I'm going to be streaming on Friday. Wait, next Friday, huh? It's like a week away. I'll I'll I'll, I'll look out for your stream. And uh, I hope I'll, I'll catch you on stream then. 
Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I mean, at my end, it's Saturday, so he's, he's talking about next Friday. Um, shout out to Rampaging Dogs, by the way. This guy is very young. Like, like I don't know his exact age. Maybe like 12, I don't know, 11 or 12. And he's like 2200-ish, you know, rapid. So, loads and loads of potential. My pleasure, Rampaging. I've always liked your username, Rampaging Rooks. It's a fun username. How has the OTB uh, come? I've, it's been coming along super well for me. I've qualified for the nationals. Um, like, you know, it's not like a super big deal in this country where I live in, where we have, you know, like, like the national champion is like only in FM, but still, you know, I'll be playing in the, in the nationals in around three months time. So really looking forward to that. I'll have a good chance of winning it, you know, if I do well. And even if I, you know, just get to place in the top two or three, I I could get to play in the Olympiads next year in Budapest, Hungary. I also qualified for the Nationals. Really? You're in the US, right? I mean, qualifying for the Nationals in the US, that's like, you know, something else. This looks like a mistake. I mean, he committed with Bishop A4. Obviously, I'm going to take, otherwise he plays this. Okay. So, Takes, takes, f4 he has. I like me position. And I like me chances. Bishop here also move. That's definitely a maneuver. For sure. If you trade, you trade on my terms, good sir. What about taking? Takes, takes. That's also possible actually. Takes over here, he takes this one. Bishop captures, captures. Hmm. I sense the juice, guys. I, I, I sense the juice here. The position seems to have a certain amount of juice in it. Hmm. But I still need to be accurate about life. It's very important to be accurate. Good life. This should be six. I really like this for some reason. Unknown. Some unknown reason. I like this. It's not that hard to figure out, right? I'm just asking him to correct my pawn structure. There's still this threat. He does have a passer over here, but it's, it's got some wall to travel. Meanwhile, this guy also controls this. I will have options like this at, at, at some point in time as well. 
So I like I like Bishop E6. I don't know whether that's correct, but it certainly looks like a juicy move. <sighs> I was actually invited to a tournament in Portugal this weekend. I'm supposed to fly to Portugal for a tournament with no prep on two days' notice. Go for it and have fun, Moscatel. If you want to go. At the end of the day, it all boils down to the heart's desire. No? Ah. Ooh. So it takes with check and he says you can't do this, otherwise I'm gonna choose your big fat juicer. That's what he's saying. <clears throat> He's saying that, you know, he can't do stuff like this. Takes, takes, takes. This is too good. What happens if I take this? I don't like it though. I mean, on first impression, it just feels horrible. Because then this is going to happen. Then this is going to happen, then he's going to check me, and then so forth. Get peace of mind. Okay. What's coming next when you're listening? Turn off shuffle. You know, tune into playlists and albums I don't know, probably still is drawing here. While enjoying I couldn't calculate anything better than this. Discover more ways to stay in your zone Thank you, Rampaging. I was actually looking forward to having an even higher rating, but I found out that once you breach 1800, you have to play longer time controls, 60 plus 30 to make it rated. Can't take, no? Now that's a shame. I would have liked to grab uh, that juicer of a bishop. Okay, let's let's create the threat at least. If he trades, he fixes my pawn structure. And I think that should be a really nice positional edge. And if he doesn't trade, he's, he's got some weaknesses to worry about. Should be able to blockade this somehow. And, and the good thing about my pass pawn is it's predicted. So it's mainly always 90 plus 30. No, the exact rules are up till 1800, you can actually play 30 plus 30, which I had been doing for the last four or five months. But once you breach 1800, according to FIDE laws, the game has to be higher rated than, oh, I mean, longer time controls than You need to think a little here as well. I can correct my pawn structure. And I really like that. I like that maneuver. But I'm a little afraid of such... Okay, let's just not worry about that yet. Correct the pawn structure. And uh, figure out life later. And, and you know, once you once you breach 2400, the minimum time control is 90 plus 30. Minimum. Or higher than that. Anything, any, any lower time controls, the game is not going to be counted as rated. Yeah, I, I never knew a condition like that existed. And it's actually quite annoying because I played in the last over the board tournament and I got in some really nice wins against four rated players. And I was supposed to get almost like a 100 point rating increase. I had a win against an FM who was like almost 2300, but the game was 30 plus 30. So, you know, <clears throat> it didn't count towards the rating. 
So now I'm stuck at 1843 waiting for the nationals or my club to arrange, you know, a, a, a longer time control tournament. Yeah, I guess it must be common to have, you know, a B6. Yeah, I guess he had to do this. So the problem I foresee with King E7, with the idea to blockade is he will have this. Um, having said that, what about just the simple King F7? On over here, he will play, I will blockade, rook b6 he will have. <clears throat> rook b3 is also, in some cases, an option. I can also probably run with my pawn. But the moves really matter at this point. One wrong move, I lose the game. <clears throat> Very interesting also is rook a6 with the idea that after b7 I blockade and the rook holds this pawn. That's actually an interesting thing. But I guess after this he might have this. Still. I can, I can, you know, my, my spidey sense is telling me this is somehow winning for me, but I'm so barred in rook end games. It's not even funny. It's not funny. It's not even funny. What about a complete retreat of the rook? Ah. Ugh. Yuck. Ooh. Listen to the spidey sense as says homeless. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Let's hope I don't run to something terrible. So here he has some the some of the such. Wait, wait, wait. King F7. Here. I feel king e7, king f7 are mistakes. Putting rook over here also seems weird. Here he goes here, I come over here. What is this position? What was it about rook a6 that I didn't like? Ah, he had c5, huh? e5 pawn up. Pawn down. Yeah, that's, that's the freaking problem. That is the problem. Hmm. Here, maybe. Plus this, I have this. Rook b6. Rook the, uh, I mean, king up. Some c5 at some time, huh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back. I'm not sure about this, but I'm gonna trust my instinct. This doesn't look like, I mean, this is, I need to calculate this well. I don't want to unsupport my pawn for any reason whatsoever. Now, wait a second. This move, why can't I just take? Why can't I just simply take? What is so wrong about that? Why can't I just push this pawn as well? Why can't I just take?
big he's gonna go for this yeah I'm, I'm, I'm taking this I'm calling on his move. He has to go with rook f1. He trades rook, I think he's just losing. Yeah. Okay, so there is no holding this pawn, right? Um, this move. He has this, then I have this. Still like my position after that. Also possible is to activate king. But I like this rook move better. No blunders, please. Uh, I think I've messed it up. Rook captures. Rook here and then rook there. I messed it up, no? Okay, that pretty much forces this. That pretty much forces that maneuver, sir. Yeah. Mess it up. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe this is still going to count towards something. He has to play this. There's no other move. Yeah. Okay, so now over here, he comes over here. Exchange, exchange, capture, capture, rook there. Rook there and just a freaking draw. You're kidding me, right? What about running with the pawn? Does that acquire us some juice he wants to draw which i think i have blundered into <sighs> but i'm still gonna slug it out for at least a move or two here i'm still gonna slug a, a, a few moves threatening this I'm gonna go for some sluggage here. <clears throat> what is your advice uh, for improving up to 1400? You know... <sighs> Chess isn't rocket science, you know, and and you do the simple things, you will improve regardless of what rating you are at. Just it's about developing a routine for yourself, you know, puzzles, analyze your games, analyze grandmaster games, you know, and 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 so on. Um, And that pretty much helps you out at any level. So my advice is to stop looking for shortcuts and just try and win. Here, take spawn up. I think that's winning. Oh no, my pawns. Oh no, my pawns. Ah. But now how do I improve? If at all I can improve. And check I have. 
Here he comes and then I do this. That's like the opposite of where you want your rook. Like I want my rook on, on the behind, right? Hmm. Most annoying. What to do? I don't know. I have uh, very little idea. Okay, let's throw in the check. I'm, I'm pre moving rook c1. I'm still trying for the win. I might actually blunder this. My rook end game is terrible. It's a dead draw, says homeless. Should I just accept the draw then? Should I should I just accept the draw? Nothing here, Let me let me make a move and offer him a draw. I don't think I have anything here. I'm actually afraid of blundering myself. So I go up and he comes in. And there's no progress to be made. And I'm probably, you know, my pawns are in danger of getting juiced. <clears throat> I'll offer him the draw now. I I felt it though. There was a win there, right? I blundered it away. Terrible. I think rook b8, rook takes on e6, rook b3 was in interesting when you had rook a8. When he went rook a8. Yeah, that was the position I'm very curious about. Um, but apparently it's all a big fun draw. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is why this is one of the most dryish lines ever. Look at the accuracy over here. We we both played like machines. No, it's it's still a draw. So what are you suggesting? I think Rook B8 exclam was interesting. Rook B8, Rook takes on E6, and then Rook B3. So let's let's check with Stockfish. What is wrong with this? Apparently we are worse because uh, White can just avoid the trade and. Then we just get our pawn back like this, but there is there is an advantage, a small one here. It's actually the best move. How do you do this, homeless? How do you spot these moves? Look at this. The engine likes it. Yeah, white is worse. I was I was you know 
it, it says minus spoiled it, so to music. my bad. No I thought it was wide who was better. Download and take what you rook b8 is the strongest move. Look at this rook b3, rook over here, and then this. You defend and you still have the protected passer. Nice. This is why I need to study rook and games a lot more. I miss subtleties like this. Anyways, it was still a good game. Um, look at the accuracy. 98%, 6% average senti pawn loss. <laughs> I don't think I've been this accurate ever. Yeah, rupee 8 was some move. Not uh, you found a uh, homeless. Yeah, I'm getting tired of playing classical. I wanna. We're supposed to do Boretskis today as well. You yeah, know, just a few pages of her. I feel sleepy now. How long have I been on? I mean, I guess I can play one more game, I guess. Ninety-eight versus I was just asking myself, are, are we going to berserk here? I guess uh, our opponent made the decision. So this turns into a rampart game now, huh? Martial defense. And 6 is inaccurate and I should have an advantage. A very playable line here. After this is C6. Bishop G4 and D5, I guess, and so forth. I mean, he takes, I'll take with pawn. I can't actually take, can I? Captures, captures, bishop check. C6 captures, A6. It's interesting though. No? Sacrifice of the queen. Captures, captures. Bishop b5, check. c6 is only defense. We take. I think he has to play this, and then we have this. He takes over here, we grab the queen, we check. And then we can juice the bishop as well. So I think we are going for it, no? It's the queen though. Here, here. Check. C6. Takes. Am I missing something? Look, 
like a6 and, and, and then c7 there's actually no need to go for it uh, but uh, I think I am gonna go for it I'm just missing something obvious I mean, either either I've just blundered a queen or you know there's some juice over there Juicy maneuver work. A6 is only defense, right? So it's just this and this. I think art just orgasmed on stream. Bishop G4. Okay, so that has to be just bar. I can I can collect my material here with this. I'm curious though, do I go for this? Or do we just go completely berserk? Now this is just strong, right? He'll just defend and then I'm all I'll get is a rook. So uh, let's get the material. Actually he can block with the queen, right? That's exactly what he is gonna do. So this and this. You don't have any more juice here. Only move. He finds the maneuver. Huh. So what now? How 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 do we spice up life? More. Queen isn't going anywhere anytime soon. No? That Queenie ain't going anywhere. You just develop Bishop, maybe. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm tired, you know, I'm th overthinking on, on simple, simple, you know, positions. Why must I overthink like this? Just continue developing. For now. Yeah, I guess I have to take now. I have to take. I cannot take the bishop. I won't let this. I want to play that. I want to crush him. Somehow. Starting off with this g4, g5 business. And hopefully it's going to be good business for us. It seems like profitable business, no? To go for these maneuvers. You cannot stop my G5. Resistance is futile.
Ah, G4 is over here. Behold, G4 is also over here. Look at this, Mr. Behold. I, I, I dedicate my G4 pawn push to you. The pawns are indeed beautiful, no? Juicy. Uh, is this a safe pre move? I think it is. When he takes any of my pawn, I just play G5. Do you prefer for beginning center game and Scandinavian? Um, no, I don't play those openings myself. GSTR SL. When it comes to opening, I always advise listen to your heart, and and, and don't you know listen to other people's uh, opinion. Check he has this. I wanted to go for some beautiful finish, which I think I have achieved. Bishop check is gonna be made. No, oh, that's juicy. Yeah, this is this is how a gentleman ends the game. We don't we don't go for brutality. We don't we don't like taking stuff. We just we just you know we just do it the smooth way. Check here and mate. It's a gentleman's mate. I mean, he can take the rook and then it's gonna be mate. But this is how we mate. There is no need for barbarism. You know, there is enough conflict in the world. Let's just stop taking pieces and just. Finish the game like this. <laughs> I'm of course gloating on my win. The mustache is smooth. Should I continue playing this or shall we move on to Buretsky's? I've almost been streaming for three and a half hours. I'm tired of playing so much classical. I'm curious though, was my queen sack good or was it just, you know, an accident that happened? It's it's not an accident, look at this. That is the maneuver. That is the maneuver. Look at this. And then the bishop check. A6 had to be played. Which was not played and then I had C7, this, this. This was Black's best defense and in the end I end up with a piece. One, two, three. One, two. And, and this is somehow, you know, familiar, this part and I've seen it before and maybe even played it. But you know, when it comes to the queen sack, you, 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 you question yourself, right? You're giving up the queen, am I doing it right? I mean, if this was probably a stronger player and, and you know I were playing blitz or something, I probably wouldn't have done it. I agree. I prefer to zugzwang people over mating them. Yeah, that's that's more satisfying, no? Uh Mega, what's up? I'm, I'm sorry I missed you coming in. Chat's kind of moving fast today. Uh Mr. Mega in the house. I'm glad you like that, uh, Behold. Yeah, since you guys are enjoying the show, I guess I'll continue playing. <laughs> you are a gentle and barbaric, sir. I missed Mega too, must have slithered in. He did. Pink champion. This is like the top seed, huh? It's J Firefox. Hey, I'm seeing you after a while, Mr. Firefox. Thank you so much for the six months. And then chess lines, Daniel, good to see you as well. Okay, so this is the dreaded English. I'll play c5 before castling as well. 
There is no harm in playing C5 before casting. Thank you, Mr. J. Firefox, for the six months. I, ho I hope you're doing well. Um, striking out with D4. Interesting. Yeah, usually, you know, something like D3 is blurred. I don't know about this. Kind of out of uh, out of my groove after this. I don't know what to make of this move. Probably I already made a mistake with Rook B8, so. I mean, cannot push the B pawn anyway, so why, why play that? But okay. D2, huh? That looks a bit passive. Just a little bit, not a lot. I can't do this, you know, thing that I usually go for. I just hang this guy. Bishop D7, and then go for this, because other ideas like this, this, seem very drab. Bishop D7. I mean, he can take and then play this. Okay, let's take and then play Bishop D7. Probably captured with pawn, no? B5. Is it gonna play this? To stop my beautiful b5 pawn push. Something else. No, he does not stop my b5 pawn push. I guess I'm just gonna go for it. Let's go. Nard Viking, what's up? Hey, it's good to see you. I, I saw you were streaming, but... You know, I, I I had to start my stream as well. Otherwise, I would have popped in for a for a bit. Hope you're doing well. And then also shout out to Noir Viking. He's premium. You can open up a new world of listeners. Download and play what you want to hear wherever you go offline. And with ad free. And he's uh, he's like I don't know 1800 on leeches or something. So do check out his stream. Hit the banner to learn more. Good to see you. Okay, so B5 definitely seems to have scared my opponent just a little bit. Not a lot. That's kind of obvious, no? Obvious maneuvers is what he's going for. I mean, B6 if I play. Huh. defend this and also connect the rooks maybe later on bring in rook c8 also simply threatening pawn yeah yeah i just thought that you know just knight g4 like this maneuver is uh, maybe questionable Bishop over here, or Bishop over here, maybe. Not sure what's going on here. Really, he's just gonna give up the Bishop here like that. Yes, he is. He is gonna get this knight in, but a bishop here is a bishop here, no? So let's take that fine looking juicy bishop. Now uh, we just need to make sure not to blunder. If at all possible. Is that possible or is that too hard? 
This seems like a solid move. It's not allowed this. Um, although my bishop is kind of very unlike a bishop, but it's solid, right? You can't do this, otherwise check. Not a big fan of this guy coming in. So let's keep uh, such maneuvers away. Now this looks like a nice thought. I'm threatening both this and this. It's funny how, you know, sometimes putting the knight on the rim turns out to be a good move. Everyone keeps saying that, you know, it's, it's supposed to be bad. Play this. It's kind of an obvious threat, but maybe he'll fall for it. Doesn't fall for it. Wait a second, can I still take? Go for some of this action. Probably wrong. This doesn't look bad at all. This does not look bad at all. No. Not exactly sure what that knight is doing. Actually, this move I'm a little afraid of because I do have a tender spot over here. Don't want to blunder anything there. I'm, I'm curious though. It captures. Rook captures only move. Bishop captures. It defends, huh? Okay, this rook maybe? Look here is blunder because I can take. So he, he needs to be really really careful. Like, like super careful. I guess I need to be careful as well. That sequence that you played in the previous game was crazy. You like that, huh? Okay, wait, so now if I if I do this, this sac sacrifice stuff, he's obviously setting up some, you know, dirty tactic over here, trying to exploit my fine looking bishop. We shall not be exploited, however, or at least we'll try not to get exploited. Queen 7 is a move. This is still tempting. Captures, captures, bishop captures, I get two pawns, I'm getting exchange as well. He has rook e1 in the end. Let's, let's play it safe. Just guard the bishop for now and not blunder any of this tactic. Still holding this diagonal for, for you know, if, 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 if something good happens there. I just wanna, uh, just wanna do this. I just wanna juice that pawn. This, this doesn't look bad as well. Threatening this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was worth it. Um, this doesn't look like a bad move at all. Okay, and we get the nice looking rook on the open filo. This is gonna happen though. I'm probably not gonna be that fun. Maybe I'll sack. <coughs> sack the exchange. Yeah, I obviously have this. So maybe I should just begin with that for now. <sighs> Something like that maybe? 
Is this also again? Why can't I seem to find maneuvers? Why are there no maneuvers here? I'm taking too much time, right? As usual. As usual, we are taking an eternity. Let's not take an eternity. This is actually a nothing move. There's nothing. Well, I played it, so whatever. He's not playing all that well himself. Wait, what is this move? I have this now. What the heck is going on after that? What the heck is going on here? Why am I why am I taking an eternity? No clue. Yeah, I hope this is not like a super big blunder. Could be though. He has this, huh? I just, I just, you know, <clears throat> bungled my advantage. Sure. I feel as if I have bungled my advantage. I had an advantage, now it's gone. Terrible. My opponent offers a draw, I'm just gonna decline that. And even though I'm down the pawn, who the heck wants draws? No? Who the heck wants draws? Let's open up uh, some uh, diagonal over here. Can I have this? Why can't I take? Why can't I take? Z has this, no? No, but this should fail. Except it doesn't. Did I blunder again? Ah, oh, my rook is not on the second rank. What am I doing? <laughs> I think I just blundered. I think I am the one that just blundered. Yeah, I can do this. It's probably not going to help me. It is probably not going to help me. 
But okay. Dang it. Should have probably taken draw, no? Can't do that. Can't do anything here. Unreal. Yeah, just, you know, lost this. He has an eternity of time as well. He has a freaking eternity as far as time is concerned. Why didn't I accept the draw? Can somebody tell me? As I could have taken the draw. There was no harm in taking a draw. Just blundered one, huh? Unreal. Unfreaking real. Okay, now it's just dead lost. This is so lost. Okay. I'll, I'll resign. <clears throat> yeah, I had a good position too. I just completely butchered the... It's a raid by Sean WRK. Thank you. I don't think I have checked out your stream, but uh, let me let me give you a, a follow, John. Ah. Dang it! It was a good good position as well in that game. University student streaming chess. All right, I'm following you now. Yeah, I just completely, you know, messed up that position. I had a slight advantage, but he defended really well. Hmm. And you play e5 over here, right? With my e5, he found a good move. Yeah, still was fine over here. And maybe, um, even after this, I'm somewhat okay. I need to play rook b2 over here, right? Yeah. Because then he can't take this one. <clears throat> There's more people here than viruses on my computer. Okay. Let's just move on. Was it Bishop E6 a move in the final position? Um, <clears throat> I mean, maybe it was empty. I, I probably missed it. I moved away from that game. Let's try and take out our, uh, you know, frustration on, on, on the top seed in this arena though. Playing the Benko Gambit, this line I particularly like. Play F3. Would be one. Look F1. Just 
to g5. Some pressure on uh, the pawn and uh, queen d2 and maybe it's something like this. Yeah, I, I have the trade here. But I probably shouldn't allow him such maneuvers. So let's play b3 and not allow this. something to keep the peace the spotify premium family plan gives everyone under the same roof i like zaitsev system better each person yeah i don't actually know the perks of offline and ad free music listening from anywhere um plus maybe maybe if i saw the structure or, or the, the the setup i would tap the banner to learn recognize more. it but um sites are i don't know the Yeah, so I, if I take with pawn, I guess he has knight c5. He does have knight c5 for sure. I do have this as a move, as a maneuver. Holding on to the pawn. You can also trade first and then play right there. Because otherwise, you know, captures queen, captures. I don't know whether I want my queen there. Hmm. So let's take. Hopefully, I won't blunder something or a book. But I might. My queen is unsupported. I should have probably kept the tension, right? Um, and not traded. And then played uh, knight, knight d4 anyways. I've played that manual castling line before, but it's just too many tempos, aren't you, for fit? It just allowed me this. Here, here. Um, I can also just, you know, push the pawn up. I don't think this was a particularly good move. In here, this knight has some squares though. Okay, let's go f4. I mean, I guess it's easy. You can also do something like this. Okay, but now I have knight there. Attacking and also threatening something like this. Well, I should really stop now. I mean, I'm four hours plus and I'm still continuing. <clears throat> I'm too tired. Okay, he resigned. Good game. Eyes, lungs, pancreas. So many snacks, so little time. You like that mosquito? I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's what, what, what makes it all the more fun, right? Just try to have some fun with the channel point options.
Mr. Racing Forest, thank you for the bets. I appreciate it. Please. So was this position actually winning? I think it was. Yeah, the problem is if you try and save the exchange, then, you know, B4 happened. And you can't really move the knight away, otherwise this guy drops off. I thought you were gonna get, like, gummies and stuff. No gummies and mustache, well. Dressing forest, thank you for the 300 bucks. I mean, I, I planned on doing Buretskis, but here I am, continuing to play classical. I mean, at this rate, I will probably have to skip Buretskis for today because I'm just going to get too tired. I feel like playing. No way, MD. <laughs> oh my god, you're kidding me, right? Oh my god. Okay, first, first, let me, let me, let me go to the washroom first, and then I'll come back with the glasses. Ah, uh, and I guess we're continuing to play classical. You'll get your fifteen minutes, Mister MD. Have to pay the man for spending so many channel points. I'm just waiting to get paired up uh, with my next opponent. So that you don't, guys don't get bored while I'm away. Okay, let me let me come back.
prodigal sum returns what's going on you guys started off a hype train md knight with a gifted sub and resting forest with the bits and heroic dose with the bits level one of the hype train oh my god and here i am wearing my glasses <laughs> thank you guys okay let's take this actually makes it a little difficult just a little bit uh, to find uh, the correct news not a lot and this guy is just playing like you know this looks winning for me no Is it too bright at your place? I'm wearing the sunglasses because uh, there's a channel point option loot stick, which empty redeemed. And uh, I have to wear, you know, these glasses for like um, 15 minutes. Not by choice, not by choice. <laughs> oh my God, MD Knight taking the level one. To home. Let's go and let's try and trade off the queens, although he has some bishop maneuvers. What I'm doing? Uh, why can't I win this? Is it too hard? Oh my god, empty with a thousand bits as well. <laughs> What's going on? I think I'm still gonna play this like a boss. Like like a boss. You guys have uh, uh hyped up everything. So let's take I guess. No blunders, please. Uh can I win this? Should be able to win, right? Let's lift a rook as well. Nice and juicy. <sighs> um, I think we mooch the pawn. No? Probably gonna get me in trouble. But okay. Like, like, uh... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take. This guy is just, you know, playing too fast. He had to play something like this, no? This chick is decisive now. And that's all she wrote. Uh, chick. Some chicks over here. Why must he resist so much? Oh, actually, what I'm doing, this chick, come on. It's this chick. And win the game. <clears throat> um, we'll take with a discovery, of course. And uh, that's it. He has more minutes than he started with. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, right? You, you sometimes you come across players that are playing blitz in these classical arenas. Empty, thank you so much for the thousand bits. <laughs> thank you guys for uh, the amazing hype train. Um, let's 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 continue. Let's keep going. Why didn't I win the queen instead of the sunglasses blurring your vision? I could have done that, right? I could have won the queen. I mean, everything was winning, right? Everything was winning. Yeah, we are getting paired with some strong players now, though. Uh, let me buzzer back. Oh, come on. Ah, he buzzered at the last minute. I wanted to buzzer him back. Come on. Dang it. You didn't give me a chance. You did not give me a, a chance to execute my berserking maneuvers. 
So, uh, something like F3 or H4. Okay, let's go H4. I cannot resist the appeal of uh, H4 here. Um, he's not budging though. Okay, let's put bishop there. Did I blunder? No, I didn't. You can take with rook. I can take with the rook. Okay, let's let's open up the file. I wanna prepare castling long. It's it's very hard to, to see in these sunglasses. Um I think I just castle. And we'll wait and see what happens. But I do need to break through somehow. F3 maybe and something like this. I don't think he plans on castling himself. He's, he's just gonna, you know, pawn storm and such. Um, thank you again, guys, for the amazing hype, friend. Why not? Let's just, let's just, you know, crash through. Probably is a mistake. But okay. But okay. I'm playing this word. Um, this cometh, no? So we do have when such moves. How you listen to music, there's no Might, uh, with Spotify Premium. Download be good for us. To hear offline to this guy has berserked as well, so let's ask him some serious questions, shall we? We won't judge. Get one month of Spotify Premium free. I mean, I can play this, but I don't think it does much. So maybe I just continue developing, although I can trade once probably and then play right there. That seems reasonable. Just trade once and uh, knight there, I guess. Now I guess he wants to castle. Now our uh, guy wants to castle. It's probably too late for him. Still, he does castle. Here, take this. Hmm. So, what about just, you know, brute force? I mean, there's this also, but most likely he's just gonna play this. I don't think I want him to play that. A4 is... This is calling. So let's just play it. It's hard to read chart in these as well. Thank you for the follow. I'm sorry I missed that. You guys are... You know, super fast today. So I guess he has this. And then I'm not sure. Like, like, do I take over here? Really? This has to be like super bad for him. Like, come on. I mean, I can take, and most probably he's gonna take this way. Hmm. Meanwhile, this move is also there for the grabs. But he's just gonna block with his rook. This is also interesting. 
Not entirely sure whether it's all not accurate. But it's gonna rip his position open. That's one thing for sure. So I'll I'll, I'll do it. This is wrong, right? He can just take this way. I mean, I'm activating the bishop as well, though. So let's let's see whether what I've done is 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 wrong or or what. Hmm. <clears throat> Probably is wrong. Check is also option, king over here and then queen there with threat of this. And that looks really disastrous for him. Yeah, I actually like this idea. I really, really like this idea. Thank you for the follow. Um, here, this is huge threat. Here, here, and checkmated by bishops. But he does have this. Then I guess I do have this. So who knows what's going on here. It certainly looks like a very, very nice position for me. <clears throat> he has to play this, no? Otherwise, this is just decisive threat. Either that or just, you know, block with the rook, but that doesn't help. This looks like a position from one of my games. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I kind of feel bad for him because, you know, I, I wanted it to be an even battle. He probably rushed into his moves. But my intention was to berserk him back. I always berserk back. I don't care if I'm playing with Magnus. It's like a principal thing for me. But uh, he just didn't give me the time. Had Nipo won the, these sunglasses in Astana, he would be world champion right now. <laughs> I don't think they allow that in a world championship game, though. He finds a move. Um, so, what have we accomplished over here? Besides, like, pissing him off. Preparing this. No? There are lots of interesting tactics here, like for example, rook there, queen there, bishop captures is juicy, queen captures, captures, bishop captures, bishop captures, I mean, what the heck is going on? But I don't actually see a decisive win, which annoys me. Rook over here doesn't work, right? He defends. I've got an eternity of time over here as well. So, what am I missing? I, this is just close to over. This I feel is not the strongest move. Probably I still have advantage. Probably I still have advantage. What about simply taking? He just takes. And then we have achieved nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go with, you know, this. Idea, if queen over here, bishop captures. And, and something. Well, I don't know whether this is best. I do have this. Well, my rook is also hanging in there, which is kind of a shame. Yes, his rook is also hanging in there. You can also take. Hmm. 
Maybe I don't need to play this fast. Huh? Why must I play this fast? But I have to go for this, I think. I mean, it probably allows him to get out of dodge. Because in the end, he will have this one, but... But okay. But okay. Okay, this seems like an error. Why? Because now I get to keep a pawn. Um, anything better though? This move maybe? Oh, that's kind of useless. In here, here, my bishop is hanging and Spawn is also hanging in there. Okay, let's let's just you know slow down just a little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot. However you like to listen, there's a premium plan made for you. Add up to six accounts with the family plan to share the love with people under the same roof. Join the duo plan or go solo with the individual plan and get a discount as a I mean, I'm still up upon barely though and add free music listening. Get one free month of premium. <laughs> Tap the banner to learn more. Take on G5, he takes over here. What is our position? Uh, because this one is actually kind of important. It's important to hold on to this guy. Kind of important to hold on to that guy. This move is there, but he will take this way. I have to take that. What are the bishop colors? I mean, he's, he's played kind of well, so given this. He has to take this way. Wait, after taking this way, I can take on g5. Yeah, that's 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 pretty it. Maybe. He can still move his push back. No, wait, if he takes over here, do I have this? No, I don't have that. Come on, where are the tactics when you need them? Unreal. Also, I hope somebody is keeping time how long I've been wearing these. I got my prawns worth of those glasses. Take them off any time. Okay. Let there be light. Oh my god. That's a lot, lot better. Okay, so I wanted this. Unfortunately, his bishop is very sneaky and keeps an eye on, on, on stuff. But I think I can cheese this guy, right? For example, he goes over here. I still have bishop over here. Can't really take over here, otherwise this happens. Taking over here is so drab. So let's take here. Bishop there, bishop there. Yeah, he just does that. I, I should have the advantage here, for sure. For sure. Start by rook d1 maybe? Please don't blunder this, it's just so winning. Glasses off, unless you want to keep looking cool. No, I, I'm, 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 I'm fine with them off. Bishop Air is still on the board, right? And his pawn structure is a mess, so... Plus, he's under 4 minutes. Should just stop worrying. A 
I've got 150k points. I can keep it going. Moscatel. You have to use them in a balanced way. <laughs> Not like that, Moscatel. Not like that, a kind sir. Okay, so he finds a maneuver which could or could not be a good one. I was thinking about simply penetrating. Then he will go over here. Most probably. I mean, I can probably also win this endgame here. Uh, but yeah, let's let's at least you know get the seventh rank. Because why not? Pressure on this bishop and so forth. Take if I play with idea bishop there. Oh, it doesn't work, right? He has this. Yeah. Do have this now though. I think he's losing more material. Can't take right. Let me just check and collect. Actually, I'll be very greedy. I'll take this pawn first if he takes here. So yeah, this looks lost. Over, Mr. Grover. I mean, the fact that I didn't get to berserk him back kind of takes the glory out of my win, but. But okay. Check. Yeah, this is only move. And unless I'm mistaken, I can just pick up the bishop. This is not really a threat because I will always have this. Or this. Check and collect this one. Well. Isn't there like a mate over here? I don't see it. I did not say see the mating maneuvers. Hey Shaze, what's up? What are you doing awake at this ungodly hour? Guys, this guy is a national master for, from the club uh, that I play and most of you probably know him because I've introduced him before as well. He's uh, We don't have a lot of title players in the club and he's one of the few. Okay, so obviously I shouldn't allow him to queen, right? Because that's going to be embarrassing. Hmm. He's got no he doesn't have that. Forget that. Defend with Rook Weevil. This doesn't work because check. Uh some last minute cheese, huh? Oh my god, hero it does. What the heck did you just do? Twelve months? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Thank you, Heroic Dose. Chazeb, you've gotten a subscription for my channel for like, you know, <laughs> a full year now. Now I can probably just take the bishop and still when he has check, I go up and he queens and I take that, but is he really gonna play this? I can also just take. I'll take. Just not allow any shenanigans. A full year of mustaches. Yeah. That's like 12 gifted subs, by the way. So, um, I mean, I really appreciate the support. Um, you know, it does. Yeah, let's harvest some pawns. Here again, I have this. 
I'm kind of playing with my food, which I really shouldn't be doing. Should just be looking to finish him off. Okay, good game. Finally designed. Yeah, big thank you to Heroic Dose for uh, the 12 months gifted sub. Guys, I'm 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 really tired now. I'm I'm gonna make more blunders. I think I should stop now. And uh, I mean, do I have the energy to go to through Voretsky's today? Not. That's a very big question because I think I've just uh, played too much classical. Um. So maybe I'm gonna skip it for the day. But about that's like you know that's pro procrastinating, right? I mean I'm I'm still deciding whether I want to do Wurzkis or not. What do you guys think? Shall we go through a few pages of Wurzkis, or shall I call it a day? Shall I call it a day or shall we go through Buretsky's? Well, I'm definitely pa pausing out of the classical era now. It's just too much classical chess. Oh my god. See if you can solve a puzzle first. I'll I'll do it. But I need I need to take like five five odd minutes. I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea. And then we are going to do, uh, we, we are going to go through Varetsky's, just, uh, you know, just a few examples. Just a few examples. Um, but I, I, I need tea, otherwise, you know, I'm just going to drop and sleep right in front of the camera. So I'll leave you guys in the hands of uh, Leech's TV in the meanwhile. And then I'll come back and we'll do uh, Varetsky's. Okay. Don't break your brain, says Behold G4. Oh, this is important. I, I, I kind of started Voretsky's, you know, around two months back and then I took a huge break in between. And it's, it's, it's wrong, right? You can't procrastinate like that. Because I, I know I'm gonna, you know, probably take a long break if I skip today as well. So I just, I just want to develop a, a flow, a rhythm, you know. On Fridays, we are doing Voretsky's. Not a lot, just, just like, you know, half an hour. 45 minutes and go through a little bit of that book. Otherwise, you know, it's probably going to take 10 years to finish off Voretsky's in-game manual. Procrastination is like masturbation. You end up fucking yourself. You know, you, you have a way with words, Mr. Mosqueda. <laughs> and, and, you know, you have a uh, you have, uh, you know. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm gonna get my tea, guys. I'll be right back. Such elegance.
Music is personal. Have the power to set the tone from start to stop with Spotify Premium. Listen to all your favorite playlists and albums in any order and download any track to play offline, all with no ad breaks. Just uninterrupted music listening. Tap the banner to learn more. Okay, prodigal son returns. Never running errands for my parents again. I'm sitting with $800 in my wallet at the moment. It's a pretty decent sized wallet to mask it up. I leave for 30 minutes and an anarchy begin, uh, begins. You actually joined at the right moment. I'm about to go through Varitsky's. Okay, so let me open the book up on my on my phone. Okay, so <clears throat> this is page number 28. Um, analysis board. Last time around we discussed the floating square which we finished off. So, the next topic is three connected pawns. Wolitsky writes, <clears throat> It's difficult for the king to fight three connected past pawns.
you can see how that can be difficult mr vorecki wait now this isn't the position i'm doing it wrong black spawns are here really okay Okay, for his knights, it's difficult for the king to fight three connected pass pawns. He has no chance at all if the enemy has any moves in reserve. If not, then a situation of reciprocal zugzwang could arise. White to move wins by king b1. Exclaim. If b3. then a king b2 if a3 then a king a2 c3 and king b3 and then and black is in zugzwang After King B one, if Black tries C three, then King C two, A three, and King B three, and again we have similar zooks one. Any other first move by White leads to the opposite result. So King B one is the only move in the position, as pointed out by Shahzeb as well. Hey, Miss Alex, Alekhin, what's up? King B1 only. I guess homeless is familiar with this position. It's new for me though. Interesting. Okay, then Vorecki gives an example from uh, an actual game. Where I have to find the analysis board again. to set up the position bear with me guys this this requires a certain amount of patience going through a, a chess book Okay the position is from the game Nun versus Friedlander played in 1968 Vorecki writes On the queen side we have equality it would be bad for either side to make the first move there The question is who will fall into Zugzwang when the king side pawn moves run out White would win by playing king h2 exclaim or king g2 the important point is to be able to meet h4 with king h3 for instance f5 if f6 king g4 where what
Yeah, I didn't get that. King is on g2, right? So how, how can it get to g4? <clears throat> okay, let me go back again. White wins by king h2 or king g2. The important point is to meet h4 with king h3 ah i guess you have to play h4 and then you have to play h3 as well and then if f5 if f6 then king g4 f5 check and king h3 f4 and king g4 black is in zugzwang thank you for the follow am creation and in case of f5 King h2, exclaim. g4? Uretsky writes if f4, then king g2. Really, king g2, huh? And not king h3, I guess, because then something like f3 happens. So if f4, then king g2. So g4 and king g2 anyways. Black plays f4. If however h3 check, then king g3. F4 check. King h2. F3 and again king g3. And black is in Zugzwang. So after f4, king g1, and again black is in Zugzwang. King b7 and knight b4. What if f5 straight away? Like in the original position empty. He gave an example of f5 early on, right? Like it's white to move first, right? So you either go to h2 or g2. And, and then you're saying f5 right away, right? He doesn't give an illustration of this. He doesn't give an illustration of f5 right away. But I imagine you play king g2 over there unless I'm, I'm mistaken. Because he did write that you have to meet h4 with king h3. I, I assume king g2 is the move. Let's check with the engine. It says king g3 is also fine. But I'm curious, what about king g2? And it's also winning. So King G2 still wins. As does King G3. I guess the idea being if King G3 and if Black plays H4, you still have King H3. So as long as you get in King H3, when when Black plays H4, that's that's kind of the important thing here. A friend of mine went to tournaments to challenge the likes of Karpov, Timon, Kasparov and such to play this. They could choose white or black uh, to start or not. He made a lot of bucks. Curious. 
this position huh? supposed to be a draw here I've, I've uh, you know got the engine turned on somewhat similar to what we are going through it's related to this none thing I'm not going to analyze this too much, otherwise we'll uh, be pausing out of our study. But, yeah, the viewers, I guess, can check it out. Um, the engine, I mean, I think suggests this is a draw now. This is none of my business. Okay, Voretsky continues, the only cases which have significant practical importance are those elementary endings in which a queen plays against a pawn, which has reached the next to last rank. And by the way, we are, have started the next topic because after the last example, No, actually, there are two pages in one page, which makes it difficult. Still have to go through the last example again. Dang it. Okay, so back again with this uh, position. Um, hmm. Okay, so King G2, I guess. And Voritsky continues. Nothing would be changed by G4. White plays King G3. F5. If F6, then King F4. F5 and King G3. So f5, again king g2 and he also writes that uh, nothing changes after king g2 and f5. So empty he also gives this example as well. And he writes or with the king at g2. F5, King G3, G4, and again King G2. And so on. Okay. Back to the original position. Voreski continues. The actual game took an immediate wrong turn since white played king f2 double question mark equals to a blunder h4 by black exclaim good move king f3 if king g2 then g4 so king f3 h3 King G3 and G4 and A5 White has to be the first to upset the queenside equilibrium he can no longer place his opponent in Zugzwan because the F pawn retains the right of moving either one or two squares according to circumstances an important technique to which we shall be returning what are we looking at we are looking at Voretsky's endgame manual chapter 1 page number 29 Liar Viking instead of a5 if white plays king h2 then f6 by black good move king g3 and f5 zugzwang king h2 and f4 and the zugzwang continues 
Get one month of Spotify Premium free. Tap the banner to learn more. Okay, so after A5, Black played F5. Knight B4 check by White. King takes on C5. A6. King B6. Knight takes on D5 check. King takes on A6. C4, King B7 with a draw. That's what happened in the actual position. Wereski continues, the section which follows is devoted to those cases in which both sides queen simultaneously. In such situations, the game sometimes turns into a queen versus pawns end game. So it makes sense to get to know its theory first. And with that, we close the topic of three connected pawns and we start the topic of queen versus pawns. This is a really long first chapter. Evil Vuretsky. Shouldn't study queen end games. Impossible for humans to understand. Just play and pray. Well, it's there, so might as well go through it. Maybe we'll learn something. Okay. So, Vorecki writes, The only cases which have significant practical importance are those elementary endings in which a queen plays against a pawn which has reached the next to last track. As in this case, Knight or center pawn. The queen generally wins against either a center or knight pawn. Okay, so a center or knight pawn, the queen generally wins against them. Interesting. That is interesting because I didn't I didn't know that. You know, usually when you end up in positions like this, you just kind of, you know, go through instinctive moves, you know. But it's handy to know that against a central pawn and against knight pawns, the queen wins. Okay, Wariski writes, The algorithm is simple. The queen uses either checks or attacks on the pawn to get closer to the enemy king and drive it onto the d1 square. This gives white's king a tempo to get closer. To the pawn. This pr procedure is repeated as often as necessary. White with the move begins queen c7 check. Black responds king b1. Queen b6 check. King c2. Queen c5 check. King b1. Queen b4 check or queen d4 check. Both are all right. He continues with queen b4 check, however, and then king c2. Queen c4 check, king b2. Queen d3. King c1. Queen c3 check and king d1. King c7. King e2, queen c2, or 
queen e5 check risk he continues with queen c2 however king e1 queen e4 check king f2 queen d3 king e1 queen e3 check king d1 king c6 and so on i think this is this is you know pretty easy to understand if you actually get this position yourself um this is probably the most accurate way of doing this with in the minimum number of moves but uh, i'm pretty sure a lot of the chess players you know at intermediate level would would get this probably with some extra moves a draw is only very rarely possible when for some reason white is unable to execute this mechanism an example would be if the white king in our previous position were at c7 uh Okay, so I'm assuming I open up another analysis board, right? I don't want to disturb this position because he might go back to it. An example would be if the white king in our previous position were at c7. C six or C five. Sometimes the queen's approach is hindered by the presence of additional pawns on the board, as in the following diagram. Okay, you just I, I I understand this. Now you cannot actually get in this check, huh? I guess that's kind of the difference over here. You can't get in queen C seven check, and I guess the same would be. in case the king is there because you still don't get this check in king c5 also again no check over here <clears throat> russell show tv what's up okay so he moves on to the next uh, example that's mr goretsky mr mark goretsky um so hey dr ross what's up wait i'm confused this can't be the white black queen this has to be the white queen and this is a knight pawn right so i'm assuming this is probably some draw Okay so white with the move Goretsky writes the king cannot be driven to b1 since white is unable to check on the a file the most white can achieve is a queen end game with an extra rook pawn um this one by queen takes on a5 allowing b1 queen so i assume this is a, a theoretical draw but uh, theory considers that the end game but theory considers that end game to be drawish okay so you know if you take the pawn then this is supposed to be a draw because uh, black's going to queen and i guess you won't be able to make much progress with this guy Hmm. And the pawn end game isn't one either. For example, queen c2, king a1. Um king e7. b1 queen. Queen takes on b1 check, king takes on b1, king d6. 
I mean, we don't need to go through this, right? The king is just going to stick over here forever. But I'll still go through it because it's there in the book. Um, king c2, king c5, um, even king d3. Wow. Really? <clears throat> Allowing this? I'm forgetting this pawn is moving this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm just tired. You know, for, 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 for a second, I thought the, this pawn's coming this way. But this pawn's going up. So that's why, you know, the king's trying to go over here. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. King b5. And king d4. King takes on uh, a5 and king c5 with a draw. So this is a draw, huh? Because I guess whenever the king comes over here, you just Go over there. I see. Mm. Okay. Fair enough, Mr. Boretsky. Fair enough, fair enough. So, where did the example end? Ended over here. In C5. However, with the white king at f7, the exchange of queens leads to victory. So I'm assuming that we go back to the original position. So Varitsky writes that if the white king is at f7, the exchange of queens leads to victory. Really? He gives an example as well. Um, Which means I have to set up the board again. Which means I have to set up the board again. So this, 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 this. Uh, king is on f7. That is the only difference. And now, white with the move plays queen c2. King a1. King e6. b1 queen. Queen takes on b1 check. King takes on b1. King b5. King c2. And king c4. Exclaim. Good move. The first but not the last time we shall see shouldering used in this book. I thought this was opposition, Mr. Varetsky. But if you call it shouldering, I guess I'll take your word on it. Hmm. So black plays king d2 and king b5 winning for white. I guess you're gonna eat the pawn and this guy can't come around. It's just too too much, right? Okay, so this is where this topic also ends. Uh, queen versus pawns. And the next topic is rook or bishop's pawn. Rook or bishop's pawn. So it's 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 still we're still discussing queens. Queens versus pawns, but the only difference is like the two examples that we went through, one was of a center pawn and one was a knight pawn, right? So now it's about rook and bishop pawns, which means the h pawns and the f pawns or the c pawns. I don't know why he's using old notation, like, like you know, it would be very simple if he had written something like you know, c pawns, h pawns. Shouldering is a tactic. 
it is indeed but you know what guys i'm going to i'm going to stop over here um we're going to we're going to continue from this this point uh next friday i think it's enough for the day but still very instructive a uh, couple of topics no i mean it's it's tough going through the book but every time i open it up and i go through these examples there's something to learn there so <clears throat> good progress i'm amazed at the fine margins in the end games yeah i mean those subtle moves right they're so important it's 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 phenomenal and this is why you know uh, uh, end game is like the hardest thing to to master even at 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 the highest level because you know it boils down to pure calculation sometimes and one wrong move and that's it end games are 100 times more interesting than middle or openings they are also more difficult right and and for me I guess it's it's for of most of the chess players, right? It's the hardest part. Probably opening, you can say, is the easiest part to learn, and then comes mastering the middle game, and then then end games, right? <clears throat> Thank you, MD. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it over here. I hope uh, you had fun in the stream. I sure did. and uh thank you for all the amazing support um eat chips with the bits resting forest empty heroic dos huck uh um heroic dos with 12 gifted subs you know he like gifted like a year worth of subscription to one of the viewers so thank you very much mr heroic dos named the night with a couple of gifted subs and they were also like you know like subs by anonymous some gifted subs by anonymous so i really appreciate the support um it just allows me to continue doing this so thank you how can you play a middle game if you don't understand which end games you want yeah i guess you know everything is kind of connected still learning end games is more more trickier than than you know middle middle games Okay so you guys have yourself a great rest of uh, the Friday or Saturday whichever applies at my end it's Saturday and uh, I will see you on Sunday which is not not far off Let's read someone let's read Rosen Eric is still streaming and I think he's playing in the classical arena He raided me like a couple of uh, like a week ago so Let's try and return the favor. It's obviously not going to be as big a raid, but uh, we'll raid Mr. Eric Rosen. Thank you, everyone. Hello, Windows, Shiftical, everyone. Take care of yourself. Um, anyway, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap things up.